in America where everybody's like 8% white and like, you know, 92% everything else, like, you know, our split like across the world populations, like, I, yeah, I don't think that everybody would be white. So if, but if somebody, yeah, if, if, if some let's point, say the mixing, be, there would be no more white people, right? No, 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 no. So here's the thing. It wouldn't be, there wouldn't be no more white people. It would just be white people are more mixed with Everyone, different groups. Just like white, white people. Wait, no, wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Please, 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 please. Okay. Well, I would encourage people to speak out against white discrimination in the same way they would speak out against discrimination towards every race. But I don't know why it's important for us to be the majority. Why do you think it's okay to be the minority? In when what world is being a minority somehow like a good thing? Like, are you white? What? Yes, are you yes, white? he's white. Yes, he's I'm like white. the whitest person. You're, white. White. you're uh, trying to say that I would side with some race war against white people? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're so full of Neo. You think that you, just because you would side with white people in some race war, that I would side with, like, massively genociding a, a bunch of people? What does that say about you, Mio? What does that say about you? I, that says more about I, you I, than it does about me. The, the little Timmy guy that Red Pill Britney is debating on Prime's panel. Oh my god, we gotta go, dude. We gotta go there. We gotta do it. Mio? Mio is there? I don't know who these people are. Dude, he's afraid of little Timmy getting bullied because he's white. What? Yeah. That's, that's you get his bullied thing. on that panel for being white? No, no, no. His argument is that one day, little Timmy, the white kid, is going to be a minority. And because he's a minority, uh, he's going to get f bullied as f in, in school. And then he's going to kill himself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, you want to do it? Let's go. Let's hop over there. We got to get on there, bro. Is Prime Holy K is doing an, is he doing an open panel? Is it an open panel right now? Somebody help, please. I don't even know what I would say or what they're talking about. Yo, just be in, go in there and be like, yo, f white Timmy or something. I don't know. What's, what's sure confusing me is, do you have a plan that is less likely to cause America to end up in a racial war like Rhodesia than, than what we're doing now? Well, see, that's the funny thing. And I saw the prime, uh, just, what, pressing Brittany on this. It's okay to point out and recognize that there's a problem and try and get more people brainstorming on it without having a, like all of the logistics worked out. Because at some point, in order to get all the logistics worked out, to get a game plan, to get a, you know, a full model okay, of what you want to do. Is it fair to say that even if you haven't worked out the logistics, your time, plan you? involves some, kind of, some sort of racial segregation somehow? Like, well, I, the, the issue you're talking is about that we, we not, to, not well, having... First, we need to recognize the problem right and if we can all recognize the problem then let's we say we start recognize the problem Whoa, what's okay, the problem, problem that we're recognizing the problem is that this is not working right this multicultural experiment <laughs> what in about it is, is clearly but how, like what could you do to end this multicultural blood. experiment hold on, hold on, that would be on, wait, less wait, wait. likely to cause I think a he's asking war. good questions right now. Is, white minorities. Hold on, hold on. is the white majority that exists? I think I think last username has a really good question. Um, uh, though, like what what is okay, what is yeah. this? Uh, yeah, Mio, Mio, do you think that the white majority that exists in this country right now is enacting political violence and trying to kill all black people? What? Well, that's what they say. What did you just say? Like the whole thing wait, wait. about Black Lives Matter is like, you know, the the whole system. No, no, I'm asking you. No, no, no. Do think. you believe? No, no, no. I'm asking you what you think, Mio. Wait, wait, I think you're you intelligent. Ask the question, person, right? I'm a little curious of what you just said. What did you I say? Don't... Hold on, wait, Mio. I want to hear what he said. So, he so Mio said that if Black people take power, and that what he's appealing to is a situation in which Black people are 93 percent in control, which is absolutely okay. stupid. But um, he's saying if if Black people take power, they're going to enact political violence and kill all the white people. And I'm asking you, if if that follows, why don't you think what we have now would be this politically violent nation that's just killing all Black people? But we don't. We, well, we're not way, I'm really talking to Mio. Hey, Brittany, I was white people. You. White people, oh, first I of all, um, <laughs> white, yeah, white people, first of all, like haven't been 
we were 95% of the population in 1965. And that's like right in the middle of the civil rights era when like we gave all of the rights to everyone else and, you know, became a full democracy and all of that. So it's like we are white people are like they tried this multicultural experiment like, hey, let's all everybody just, you know, hold hands and walk into the sunset together. It just turns out that the world is starting to look more like, you know, Britney's worried about than, you know, MLK did. Then he they, they weren't trying an experiment. They were resolving a conflict that was happening in America, right? So I well, no, they, it wasn't that. There's two. There's there's well, there's many s separate levels to this because first there is the Muhammad they, Ali video, the blue yeah, video. you should. I mean, there's uh, but there's mm -hmm. many levels to this because you know at first it's slavery is immoral and evil and wrong and nobody should do it. And even Abraham Lincoln saying that was still saying. Well, yeah, but like we shouldn't ever do slavery. Nobody should do that. But like we're never going to have everybody, you know, cats and dogs living together. He was like, that's crazy. His plan was actually to send all of the former slaves back to Africa. And America tried that later with Liberia. And that was a failed experiment as well. Um, so it's it, it's so after that, then there's like, you know, be, becoming like full voting rights and all of that stuff. So there's no just like one lens to view it through because it's many different levels of history. Look, I, I'm I'll be willing to say there's a non-zero chance that America could at some point descend into some race war. I guess it could happen anywhere. What I want to know is um, what are you proposing that is going to make that less likely to happen? It's like it seems like we should be doing things to avoid that happening. And what we've but generally been doing already is like trying to have a society that on. doesn't stratis stratis on, strat second. avoid Wait, stratifying like our society by race, give okay. equal rights to everyone, okay. try to get along. But you, I, what you're proposing, you're, you're not proposing much. With, okay, can I, can I, like, all right. Suggesting I've, doesn't seem to be yeah, 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 It yeah, seems yeah. like it would actually cause a lot more racial conflict. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like there's nothing that we could actually physically do at this point. I feel like the wheels are already in motion and in place that it's going to happen no matter what happens. Yeah, I do. I feel like this is already happening and it's so ingrained in our system and ingrained in our minds that like even if we did every Why? possible thing we can to make up for all the horrible things that white people have done in the past, I don't think it will matter because the damage is done and this is like coming. I feel like it is coming and it worries me a lot that this is like and we are contributing to making it worse. Look, I can see how if you hang around a lot on political Twitch with the radical left, you might get that impression, but <laughs> it's really not true. Like we're not actually, on political oh, Twitch though. The reason this resonated doing with me so much pretty well. the reason this resonated with me so much is because I had those kind of thoughts where I was literally sitting there saying getting white people out of power is a good thing. White people are like I mean we shouldn't be having white men um so you in were a silly yeah. person. What does that white have to do suck. with the rest of the world? <laughs> I'm saying that this is like a mindset that people have. And I know that oh, I've yeah. had that mindset. And so it, I've talked to a lot of people that have that mindset. Almost every lefty I've ever talked to people... has that mindset. And like, I'm talking about like normie fucking lefties, not the Twitch weirdos that like so, we deal with. So, but... you're saying, so what you're well, saying is there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people with incredibly dumb ideas and they grow out of it. That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that this is uh, the norm. This is becoming the norm. This is becoming so like common. This is becoming very mainstream. Like I said, it's in our schools. It's, it's in our corporations. It's in our media. How? It's in every insta freaking that, that we have. Nobody here thinks that at all. Okay, so, so, uh, let's, so let's, if uh, I can uh, ask, let's get some order. Let's get some order. an argument in, instead let's, of actually listening to fucking let's, what's actually happening. Let's let's get some order. Let's get some order. So if people want to talk, let's go to Stardust. He hasn't had a chance to talk. Um, then Kobe. Um, and then we have, uh, uh, I guess, a blowbacks. Hello, hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Um, nice to meet you. Uh, Dubi Tiberius. All right. All right. Um, nice I guess I, I I do I do want to ask a couple of questions, um, both for Mio and and, and Brittany, I guess. Um, so I I would like to go back to what last username was asking is like, what is the solution that you would propose, Mio, that would um, that would alleviate this issue? And then my second question would be, um, do, are you counting again? Um, and this is, I feel like this is something I've asked before, but I'm, I'm not sure if you've addressed it, but um, are you counting people who mix with different races as not white? 
Can I answer okay, this question? So, before, 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 hold on, really quick, ahead. before you say anything, because for me, um, and he, me and Mio might have a very different um, idea on this. For me, um, being white is a visual thing. I think that like if you see somebody who looks white, they maybe they they maybe they're not white, but the visual thing is what it is for me. And I feel like with people who might have a racial revenge, um, they can see a white person and that will be all that matters. They might be mixed of some sort. Um, they might be half Jewish. Who knows? <laughs> like, yeah, that's hey, Brittany, not really an welcome. answer. So, do you consider, no, no, do you great. consider okay. mixed people? Do you, do you consider mixed people who, who, um, maybe look like they're part white? Do you consider them white? Who the fuck told me that wasn't her question? <laughs> you didn't. I'm really. It. I want to hear well, the first she question. She literally just said the same thing. Don't yeah. fucking gaslight me. I'm no, not. You said what other people. You okay. said. No, that, no. Oh, I literally. Said wait, wait, a wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't need other people gaslight. to. I don't need other ahead, people to interfere in my questions with her. Um. Yeah. So. Right. So what I'm asking. All right. I I understand that. I don't need other people's assistance in that, though. Um, uh, I appreciate it, though, but I don't need it. Um, So, uh, yes, what I will ask again is last year username's first question. Let's address that first. Right. Um, Do what is what is the solution that you think would would um, stop this um inevitable race war that's that's going to happen what is the what is the solution to that um mio okay um yeah yeah okay so well just about the the framing the phrasing of the question the de- inevitability by definition means there's no stopping it right but you know that's that's well that's the way that Brittany phrased it so i just kind of i kind of went with that but but if you don't think it's inevitable then you know what would you propose as a solution well i'm not sure i'm not sure if it's inevitable i'm not sure if there are good solutions or which is the best or how that would all play out but the way i see it is like you know if i say that, that there's a fire over there and you're like well what do you propose we do about it and it's like well Unless I have a solution for you, we're all not going to acknowledge that there's a fire. That just no, seems ridiculous. No, we've acknowledged so the fire. We've acknowledged the fire. Let's say, let's say, Mio, Mio, here's the thing. I uh, Let's say I'm acknowledging the fire with you, okay? Now what is your solution? Okay. I don't have one. Let's tell more people and brainstorm. That's the, there well, is no we, way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't. Exactly. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Everybody should know about it. That the smart yeah. people, the best so, people can be working the problem right? right but here's the thing i don't buy that you were this invested in the in this um in this race war that's going to happen without having a solution to it there's no way in in hell that you are this invested in this and you don't have your own type of solution thought out for it no i have not i, I don't think about solutions i just try to like learn what's happening and um i think information okay. is important like knowing Knowing what's going on is the best way to be able to have a solution and having more minds on it, obviously, is better, too. So, you know, telling as many people as you can about, you know, that there's a a big fire is is important because, like, a coordinated effort is most likely to put it out, right? You can have some people... Y'all haven't been in the politically provoked discord and trying to make their solutions? They have some solutions. You don't have a political discord. Yeah, so what I would ask... What I would ask is... <clears throat> what I would ask is, uh, uh, I don't maybe maybe Brittany has a solution. Brittany, do you have a solution? Um, I don't have an actual solution. I do think that um, there are like again, my only realistic solution would be to um, stop uh, immigration coming in because I think it could slow down the process of becoming a minority. Um, that's really the only thing I the, could possibly yeah, think. The of only that. issue with that is that we we are having an issue with. Um, people like reproducing to maintain, I, I guess, like, you can incentivize yeah. that. You can incentivize that, like, incentivize people to um, have more children, incentivize people to have okay. um, no. the state in a we, marriage. We need a lot more children, right? Yeah, we need yeah. so many. Only white and, then the, and then the next thing is I, w- I, I want to ask Mio, I want to ask Mio the, my second question. Mio, do you consider people who are mixed who look like they're part white as white, or do you not consider them as white? Yeah. So funny thing, the average African American 
is 30 percent like between what 19 and 29 percent white so as far as i'm concerned this dude in the red shirt better not be saying the magic word white people can't say I'm Hold not. On, that's not my question. question. No, wait, 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 wait. Uh, that that is not my question, Mio. Okay, <laughs> instead of instead of targeting other people in this panel, can you answer my question? Holy shit! I'm, what targeting? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you wait, are. You instead of calling out other people on this panel, can you answer my question? I, I'm having a conversation with you. He really just wants to say the word. So, Mio, do you no. consider? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you answer my question? Do you yeah, consider people who are who are white, um, who are mixed white? Do you consider them white? So, yeah, it's an interesting question, honestly, because there's like what I consider. Yes white or no, my dude? Is please like, is like Caucasian, right? And so, Caucasian is like people who are descended from the people of the Caucasus regions, I guess. And there's, there's like the three separate, uh, like divisions of, of like ancestors or like when we all split me off up? and different major groups. Yeah. I'm like Anglo. Um, yeah. So if so you have a baby with a black person, that was, like, that was easy. A baby white. This and is, so I guess wait, it's like, I, Mio, Mio, can Mio, you please, really can you please do a yes or no to me? Mio, well, if no, you had a baby, I don't have any, I've never thought about that really. You oh, no, never Mio, thought. Let me ask you a yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let me so, finish here. Let me finish. I, pr I promise I'll hand yeah. it over to you soon. Okay. Um. Look. Um. I. Uh, you have to have thought about this. If you are that concerned about white identity in America, you have to have well, thought yeah, well, about it, just, white look, people person, who are mixed like with other people. Black and thirty percent white, who or forty percent white, who looks. White and let's say 50% black and 50% white. 50% black and 50% black. I mean, sorry, white. white. We're not going to look very white. Oh, the, they might. They, they might. might. I, yeah, I know. No, I can give you an article. Let's, let's of, pretend, uh, let's, I, this is, not, let's this is oh, you're dodging. You're dodging the question. If, if, sure. well, no, okay, not, if it's, wait a minute, wait a minute. Part. Okay, okay. So, is somebody, somebody who is 50%, let's say, let's say 50% um, black and 50% Hispanic, you don't consider that person white. Um, you'd probably could yeah, consider well, them. Like well, well, why, I where are you going with this, Stardust? Why don't you get to where you're going with it? I'm, I'm trying well, to get there, but like, I keep getting somebody, interrupted. So, is, well, I, I could answer it for Mio. Really if that, if you're if not in that situation, no, they're not going to be white. But so, where, right. where are you? So, this? what I'm saying yeah, is, if you don't consider case. that person white, right? But the, what, let's say they're 50% white and 50% black, right. then what? Okay. Do you consider them white? Well, it's not like but where are you going with it? Mixed. Where am they're I going mixed, with it? Yeah. If you, is, do you consider mixed? My question is, do you consider mixed different from being white and if that is the case then why do you consider why wouldn't you consider mix different from being a person of color uh who, like black or hispanic or something like that so, okay so if you're 50 percent 50 50 split i would say that's dead even mixed but i wouldn't say you're not white i would say you're half white because that's literally what so then is. if somebody like is that. half white right and that doesn't mean that white is going to be the minority then it just means that white would be mixed with other groups right mixed would be okay okay yeah. in america where everybody's like eight percent white and like you know 92 percent everything else like you know our split like across the world populations like i yeah i don't think that everybody would be white so if but if somebody yeah, if, if some let's say the mixing be, there would be no more white people right no 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 no. so here's the thing it wouldn't be there wouldn't be no more white people it would just be white people are more mixed with Everyone, different groups just like white, white people wait, wait a minute let me finish let me finish let me finish let me finish please 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 okay so 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 what i'm saying is it, it, so if white people are mixing with other populations, that doesn't just mean that white people are becoming more mixed. That means all other populations are becoming more mixed, too. So what that means to me is that uh, that it wouldn't necessarily be white people becoming this minority and this inevitable race war. What that means to me is that there's going to be more mixing and there's going to be a little bit less of every um, every one of these groups because we're going to be just more mixed okay. as a whole. And I think that's those a great are, thing. Um, and I don't things. think you need to be worried about like white people being a minority because there will still be white people because we'll all be part white. And then we'll all have like all, the, all, yeah, we'll all be part white. So 
Yeah. I get it. Okay, so here's the thing. You're you're conflating two different issues. One is like you know, whether like people intermingling together like that is like counts as, you know, uh, replacement or whatever. And the, but what Brittany, Brittany hasn't been talking about that at all. What she's worried about is like the racial grievances that non-white groups have against white people. And, and like if there's somebody who's 30 percent white, a 40 percent white, whatever, that that doesn't look white those people aren't going to have a, as much of a problem with someone with like you know blonde hair and, and blue or green eyes or you well, know people dye their hair blonde like, and wear like, contacts right and... wait Brittany Brittany was worried about white people <laughs> that are self-hating not other people not non-white people I'm worried about okay hold on oh Brittany is worried about it all so I think that yeah for me again I have different maybe views than uh, some of the white nationalists so for me it's a visual thing if somebody looks white I feel I like one. they are going. What? Okay. I feel like that they are going to be at risk of some kind of racial revenge if there is one. If there is somebody like again, like what you're saying, okay, if there's there are fifty percent of this and there are thirty percent of this and this and this and this. Um, it doesn't matter what their percentage is. It matters what they look like, and what right. they look like. If, if there's a racial revenge, it's going to be completely on what you're seeing, not what like you uh, technically are. And well, that, that's it... where my concern. By the time by the time we get to well, wait a minute. By the time we get to, um, uh, you know this this thing, we're gonna just have much more mixing in general. There's going to be inevitably people who are minorities who look. I mean, we have that today. There are plenty of minorities who look white who look white and and if you if you're afraid of them receiving this um i mean it's going to be uh it would be an issue for anybody who looks white like you're saying but the fact is that there are plenty more minorities who still who look white who are mixed and i mm -hmm. think that with the increasing of mixing um everybody's going to be a little bit white so like oh, are who are we to really be like doing no. racial revenge on people Okay, and so my thing According also... According to DNA tests, everything will be. Um, so my thing also on that is, and again, and this is where I differ from a lot of the white nationalists, is that if you were to snap your fingers and everybody was one race, I think that that would solve a lot of problems. I don't see that happening in our lifetime. And um, so I don't like want to encourage that as well. But if that was the case, yeah, a lot of these problems would be solved because there wouldn't be that kind of infighting. But... Um, eventually that likely is going to be the case, especially in America, due to how multiracial we are. Like, I think that eventually we probably all will, like in maybe like 100, 200 years, we probably will all be one race. And I'm sure everything will be harmonious. I and don't know about a one race. When we are, okay. so there's way too much diversity it. for us to, to, to just I, be one I, race. I, 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 I got I gotta move on. I got to move on. We got a bunch of other people who want yeah. to talk. All right. So, uh, next we got Kobe, Blobe, Doobie, Ty, Whiffin, Tubi. All right, um, so let's go to Kobe. Okay, I don't want to be uh, arguing on here forever because like, let's, let's be honest, if you're arguing with a person who says there's like, <laughs> I think that there's going to be an apocalyptic race war on the level of the Rhodesian Bush War that be, that is inevitable in all multiracial societies, but I don't really have a solution. We have, I have a word for that. It's called it's called a pussy. You're a pussy. If you actually think that's what's happening in the world and you have no solution, you're a bitch. You need to grow the fuck up and start making a solution. I don't believe anarchists that say this. But they're like, oh, yeah. actually, all society is unethical, and actually, America is committing a genocide against all groups. And it's like I don't really have any ideas of what we can do about it. Like, you really think this? And you're just gonna sit there and play fucking Xbox? Like, I don't want to talk with you about this. Last thing I want to say before I go, though, okay? mm -hmm. uh, earlier I did not have all all my facts on hand, which I probably should have done. Okay. Didn't know I was going to have to discuss the history of Zimbabwe. Okay, but the great nation of Zimbabwe, the great civilization of the uh, of the era, of of of, uh, of the many civilizations. Okay, was 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 described as being a fucking like a fucking like a group of tribes. Okay, this is not true. Okay, when Portuguese uh, settlers came to the area that is now Mozambique in Zimbabwe, they found a complex series of city states that were continuing the stone building cultures of the great Zimbabwe. The ancient old uh, uh you know a historic uh, world uh, unesco world historic site including the uh, kingdom of mapungabwe and the uh, uh, kingdom of Mu atapa 
all of the, these kings were, were chilling, the kings were doing kingdom shit until the fucking Portuguese started a, a series of war in which a empire called the Rosny Empire uh, 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 rose up, took over all of Zimbabwe and fought a brutal war against the Portuguese. So they got some backup from, I think, I don't know, the Dutch or something. What the like fuck that. is this guy even talking about right now? What, what's happening? Yeah, what are you, yeah what's your point? Zimbabwe, well, Rhodesia, hold on, hold on. Because they brought Rhodesia. They brought know, Rhodesia. I'm, oh, I'm so sorry, Brittany. This is so uh, interesting. Rhodesia and Zimbabwe, that's the same place. I don't know if you actually know this, but those no, are the actual. Like, can you get to your point? He knows. He knows. It's a Rhodesia. Right, no, I think, I think the point that Obi's making is talking The point is that Mio described Zimbabwe as a nation, a basically uncivilized place of tribes that the white people just came to and started a country and that. That's why they have this sort of historical claim, and it's so unfair that the people, uh, the people of Zimbabwe, wanted to rise up and wanted to take back the again ninety seven percent or ninety three percent black, six percent fucking white. Uh, 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 they were uh, so great. I don't, think, he meant, I don't think that's what he said. That's he's not even saying it was unfair. He was saying some, he was saying there was a genocide that happened, and that's was that's what he's not a genocide. There, I, I, I don't, there's not Thank a genocide. Of white. There are white there are white people that still live in Zimbabwe. There would not be white people that are getting reparations from the Zimbabwean government if there weren't fucking white people in Zimbabwe. <laughs> like, yeah. I think what Kobe's pointing to is like there's a very common uh, like trope amongst white nationalist types, and you know, I don't, I, I think you are that actually, um, who uh, downplay oh, thanks, the complexity uh, in, of uh, African civilizations. Right? They say they had nothing, they didn't have the wheel, you know, they had no kingdoms, they were all just in huts uh, chasing around yeah, what is tigers or whatever the fuck. And that's just not true. They, they many it's empires for thousands of years. No, it's not. That's absolute bullshit. Well, and if you if you actually think that, so then, then I, I will so pay you. Can. I will pay you to sit with me and watch documentaries detailing all these ancient African civilizations that had complex cultures, <laughs> uh, languages, art. Do you know that 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 meme about uh, you know we was kings being where they were they about the uh, black Egyptian pharaohs? That's fucking true. The kingdom of Kush did did conquer, <laughs> conquer Egypt. Wait, you're laughing about you know, it. No, but, but your laughter, your laughter, it's just your 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 ignorance about that. history. <laughs> like it's not. Doobie is actually uh, excellent uh, at debating. Pause. Yeah, he's he is based. So Mio, you can respond. To, I'm just uh, saying uh, he's based. Uh, that's hey, this is why. Um, you know, so, we we like Doobie here, even if we disagree with him occasionally. Between Northern Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa, like where Black people are from, the Sahara Desert. Which, for all of human history, is like until white people got there, meant like months of impenetrable death. There was no crossing between them. The people in northern Africa looked more like the people all across the rest of the Mediterranean. I hate to break it to everybody. No, you, no, no, you're absolutely no, no, this ignorant is on like basic history. <laughs> Bro, no, like, you, what are you talking about? Let, let, let me go this for a second. Like, okay, the literally, the 14th, no, no, no. shut up, your man. fucking face, okay? <laughs> Is this 14, in 1400, you have a, the Tiberius, you have a, you're the conservative. <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, I am the conservative, actually. Anyway, yeah, I don't like my conservatism here, you guys. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not playing this game. Mean that you what? pretend what? Africans didn't have or, civilization. Yeah, yeah, you can't be a conservative. Right, let conservative. me make my goddamn point before I have an aneurysm. Go, the, go ahead, Tiberius. In go the, ahead. In the in the 1400s, you have the great empire of Mali that is in sub-Saharan Africa. You have Mansa Musa, who takes the wealth of Ethiopia, goes to Cairo on his way to the Hajj, and he is so wealthy and so generous. That he crashes the economy of Cairo for literally ten fucking years. Like this is absolute bullshit. You don't know what you're talking about. Wow. It's Very, uh, yeah, I honestly, I'd, I'd literally pay you to sit with sounds, me and watch documentaries about this so, shit so because because you're embarrassing good, yourself right now. Mio, Mio, do you? I want to understand. You know uh, do you not think? Do, you know sorry, Mio, 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 uh, Mio. Do you do you not think uh, what they're saying is true? Do you think they're they're lying or making up? I just want to understand your perspective here. Uh, like, yeah, I think that the uh, the whole Mansa Musa thing was like exaggerated by historians, obviously. Um, do you have any evidence evidence I, of that? Are you going to no, let him fucking just, talk it, for me? Yeah, the context it's just a of the history, the context oh, of that history, it doesn't line up at all. This is what like archaeologists use this all how? the time to craft yeah. a picture of what happened. Yeah, yeah. So how, uh, how yeah, does it not line? Africa, Africa. Oh, they didn't have the wheel. They didn't have modern. They didn't have any kind of agriculture. They were basically oh, hunter-gatherer okay. groups, like until the 1700s. No. Um, that's not they, true. 
They have you know, fun fact: Africa has more coastline than any other continent, except I think Antarctica, and they still hadn't discovered the sail by you know the 1700s. They, We're they talking all about black thousands, people below the Sahara Desert didn't know what a sail was. Do you guys want to listen to what he's gonna say, or are you just gonna fucking make these like wise cracks? Well, if he could actually fuck? say something that was real Let and him true, fucking finish what he's gonna you know, say. Then is Brittany, 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 an internet debater is saying that all like a, a widely you're established him finish a goddamn sentence. Yeah, but you're here to talk. You realize it's like like sixteen against like like two right now. So maybe like okay. Calm down. Everyone shut up. Whoa, everyone shut up. Whoa, 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 whoa. When I say everyone shut up, that means everyone shuts up. Great. All right. Um. So, uh, Mio, finish whatever fucking point you're making, and people are gonna respond to that. Mio, finish. Yeah. So, when the people who had discovered the wheel in like 600 BC arrived to what's or no, sorry, what, 6,000 B.C., something like that, 4,000 B.C.? They arrived like 6,000 years later in Africa. Th nobody there had it. They didn't hadn't figured it out yet still. Thousand, within thousands and thousands of years. We're not talking about, like, an industrial civilization that, like, a white people just, like, you know, destroyed and removed from history. It's like we're, we're talking about people that were easily conquered even if you look at like after the colonization era in in the rhodesian bush wars that were mentioned you can look into it they had it was just like the this like spears and wooden shields and stuff the the rhodesians were like mowing them down by the thousands there was there's battles where they had two deaths on the rhodesian side and six thousand on the other side from all of the like five warring like tribal nations that were uh, against them so like this is it wasn't even close. It, it not even a little bit close. We had a massive industrial civilization that's like descended from Greeks and Rome. They marched in, and it wasn't even close. We're not talking about like a giant, wonderful civilization, one of the richest in all of human history. And it's just like, well, you can't find the remnants of it anywhere because white people destroyed it all. I have a question. Does any of the, uh, do you believe that the ancient Sumerians, the ancient Mesopotamians, were they white? I think they were like probably closer to what, like Arabs or something. Okay, I put in chat a link to a uh, 2,500 BC painting from Sumeria of a chariot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the idea that the wheel was not in introduced into the Middle East until like the, until like uh, 2,000 years ago is, is psychotic. I'm sorry, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> I don't. Well, no, no, no. The the chariot. Uh, funny, funny. You talk about it. the chariot was brought to Egypt by uh, what was called. The, the Hurrians, I think, which meant yeah, like outsiders that the, the no, 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 it was it was like the Hurrians, I think, H-U-R-R-I-A-N-S. Um, it was either there's another word they called them, too, but it meant like outsiders or others. It was a group of people who apparently came in from the northeast, as in like where Mesopotamia and all of that was in the Middle East. Um, and those people brought uh, horse skills horse knowledge they brought like the first horse burials are from that time um they they took over egypt it was like the 13th dynasty or something like that and they are the people who brought chariotry to egypt and um so so yeah and that's again that's like the sahara desert is separating that from all of sub-saharan africa which you're trying to say it's all the same thing this was there was no communication between the two they didn't know each other existed it was like months of impenetrable death not even like nobody crosses the sahara desert and that's how it was you, so well, wait, not, wait. are you talking about are you talking about assyria in in the early 600s bc is this about you what you're referring to no, I was talking about Egypt. There was a group. No, no, no. Assyria called... is the people who invade Egypt in the early 600s, and the biggest reason that they do so is okay. because they discovered that they have this thing called the camel. Okay. Uh, can okay. I ask? Okay. I don't. I just. No, 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 no. Hold on, no, Beto, Beto. No, no. You're late. We'll get to you. Um, sure, sure, so, uh, uh, Kobe, uh, finish up. If you got something to say, then I got to move on. Um. Listen. No. I have nothing else to say. Okay, I love you all. I do not. I think that we should push for a not be racists. Okay, and then it doesn't matter if if there's no more. If there's, if I'm the if I'm the last white and I have to roam this world uh, with uh, no other white people, and if no one is racist, uh, I'll probably have some other problems, but it won't be because I'm, I'm white. They'll be sick. Okay. What I, I talk understand. about when I talk about a fantasy world that lefty things. wish they lived in. This fantasy world, like everybody gets along and we're all just living in harmony, and we should all just like not even see race. It's like yeah, that would be fantastic. 
if it was realistic, but okay, it's not. Let's, let's be actual. I'm about just to just decide the biggest to thing. Not care hey, this is my this is my little mascot moment. Okay, what? the biggest thing that, that can that that, <laughs> that disconnects people in this in this world right now. Okay, it's material fucking class. Let's be fucking honest. Okay, I do not have anything in fucking common with the fucking richest guy in fucking India, but I could probably hang out and fucking have beers with a guy that works. Uh, I used to work at a hotel. Why do? in india at the end of the fucking day at the end of the fucking day the capitalist fucking class would love their fucking their their fucking right. checks wow. 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 Well, I, I would rather work it out. i want to buy i, I buy right. white wait a minute buy- why okay again Kobe, Kobe, why? Why? Society, why? Rather than society in which the people don't look like me, okay, but we we share things, the material resources that we as humans need, share, share those more equally. If we don't we don't look like each other. Okay. Maybe, maybe Kobe, I know what you're gonna say. Let me just get in this. Okay, why? Why then? Why when you talk about um, a lot of black, like you would agree that black and Latinos are going to be like normally conservative, right? Sure, on average more sure yeah and yet that they, they tend to still vote democrat they're going yeah, to vote on they're opposite they're ends racist. a poor white person and a poor they're black racist. person might have very similar economic interests yet they're not voting in the same way for different that's reasons racist that's, that's, the point. that's the point social that interest. Made. the capitalist class promotes this i hate to use this word because this is the word that luna oil is using but a false consciousness in which that in which people are voting against their economic i don't disagree disagree with you any, okay is I would there any policy that. hey colby is there any policy that you would sacrifice economic gains to achieve any of them of course, yeah. What? I think that if uh, if if one hundred uh, one hundred humans wanted to create a breakaway nation and genocide all other humans, they would have a lot of profit. But I'm not going to do that. I think that if we if what? we opened up a lot of COVID a lot, a lot like, I'll, I'll be I'll, I'll be realistic. If we opened up if we opened up COVID a lot e- uh, quicker, I would I, I would I, we we probably could have had ec- certain economic uh, or open up from COVID quicker. We probably could have had certain okay. economic. Okay. Rate, more Hispanics certain- are okay. are voting conservative. By the way, it is it yeah, is increasing I've, more and more. Wait, Hispanics. Wait, 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 I've already covered that. More Hispanics on are voting conservative. But, 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 why does There's it matter? They picked up nine points in five. No. Wait, hold on. Why, why did what? Brittany? Why do you ask me about uh, what I what I vote for anything other than other than like material benefit or whatever? Why do you, I don't know what you mean. You, if there are any policies, because there are some things that yeah, white people might not want to become a minority, and they might want to close down immigration. They might like a uh, similar <laughs> like they might <laughs> sacrifice their economic gains because they don't want to become a minority in their own country. And I don't know why that's so bad, and why like you are like painted this like horrible a, horrible wait, person because you don't want to become a minority. I can, of well, course, I can who understand. Who cares if you're a minority, um, though? Well, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Kobe, yeah, 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 go ahead. Yeah. I, I, like, uh, uh, Obviously, I can understand somebody voting for a reason that's not an economic reason or voting for like a, a social reason or whatever. I can get that. But of, of course, I'm agreeing with the substance of the disagreement. I think that that, that that wanting to sacrifice economic gains so that most people die of COVID is unreasonable. I think that not wanting to you know, being worried that there's going to be a race war if white people become more. Hi, can I ask you a question? Yeah, you so you, you are, when you're saying that, you're saying that you're like pro like lockdowns and all that. Like you're like pro like everything's like crazy with COVID, maybe right? Not now. I mean, maybe, maybe can not I, like this. Can, I ask, can I ask you guys also a question with this whole COVID thing? Don't you think that like- no, this um, is too far. We're, we're, we're shaying too far. We, and we gotta, we gotta keep focusing. Right. Yeah, because the topic we're, is we're race, sh- not COVID. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna stray too far. Uh, we can get back to that some other time, but like I, I can tell you, this is gonna go into a hard tangent. Uh, uh, so I gotta go, okay. goodbye. Okay, bye buddy. Bye. All right, so we gotta, so we're gonna move on. All right, so uh, Jisha, uh, you're on the list. Um, next is bl- a blow, blow uh, blacks, right? Yeah. Okay. Yo, what's up, everybody? So, why do we care if white people become a minority? Who gives a fuck? Um, That's my main question. Probably white people like, should. Who cares? Why? I don't give a fuck <laughs> if I'm a minority. Like, what does that do? Like, if I'm a minority, well, 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 minorities are treated okay. <laughs> Not good to be a minority well, white people are treated ever. okay. Do you think the second it drops to forty nine percent, people are going to be like, ah, fuck all the whites, you cracker, cracker, cracker? We're cracker. Still the majority, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, you missed Who a cares? lot of the conversation. Who cares? Uh, but- yeah, let's just roll the dice and see if like we're going to all be fucked when this happens. If we're already seeing signs when we're the majority. Well, okay. How are we? Fu- how are we getting fucked right now? How are it's we getting all- fucked? It's right literally now? already happening. Okay. Okay. We're explain. Give me an example. Okay. I'm not hey, disagreeing. I just, I just want to know. Of like where COVID people, they're doing it by race as well. Like COVID treatment and shit. There they're is fucking a lot COVID of examples of this. 
Huh? Okay. Yeah. Elaborate. Okay. Let's elaborate on the COVID. Uh, Do you example. want me to send a link? Yeah. I can send a link. Come well, on, can you like, explain in like please. layman's terms, like really quick? I'll, tr I'll trust your source. I'll trust your source. Let's I just want to like. Uh, no, we're gonna do this. You want to do this? What? We'll fucking do it. What? I don't I think just he's know doubting why. your. I don't think he's doubting your source. He wants to know exactly like how they're doing. Treatment yeah, like what does your source say? Can you t can you explain what your source is? Source. We're playing, so we're playing you, power watch. Yeah, you don't. You don't. You don't have to. Wa <laughs> you don't have to say it word for word, but just like like well, generally, like what is the COVID no discrimination going race on? When distributing life saving COVID treatments, there's just like one example, by the way. But like, I'm just telling you that like things like this happen already where white people are not going to be um like they're not they're not going to be like favored of in any way when we are actually still the majority and so it good. worries me Huh? Well, I would encourage people to speak out against white discrimination in the same way they would speak yeah. out against discrimination yes. towards every race. But I don't know why it's important for us to be the majority. Why do you it's think it's okay to be the minority? When when what world is being a minority somehow like a good thing? Like are you white? What? Yes, are you yes, white? he's white. Yes, he's I'm like white. the whitest so person right now. Okay, so I'm like, okay, listen, I listen, did my DNA test, 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 I'm like 99% white. Everyone shut up because I want to talk about this because you're the prime example of what I'm fucking talking about okay. where white people are doing this to themselves and they don't seem to realize that like the stuff that they're pushing is going to backfire at some point. If the propaganda is so fierce that white people are like so anti-white and you are literally proving my point. Thank you very much, by the way. Well, how, how is me not caring if I'm a, no a minority? Me being anti-white. not anti -white. realizing that this is going to backfire. Why does, the, you. why does the country... So, you're trying so not, hard wait, to wait. please like, love... minority groups that are like not, um you feel this like white guilt towards that you want to make sure that you're making i don't think you're i don't think it's about white guilt. a lot of opinion you yeah. are projecting a lot of opinions onto me that i did this not this is exactly say. what i'm seeing i'm sorry okay okay like, okay why is it uh, my question is why is it important for the country america to uh uh to be 50 percent white and 50 percent other races why, why is it that, okay, well, I, again, what are we right now? Do, do we know it's like, what, 59%? What, what, what do you mean? America was 95% white until 1965, man. That's so not even true either. either. We've it's never been, been over 90. 90. No, no, I'm not saying I'm not, say, I'm not, not uh, my my argument my right? argument my argument yeah, is that white people shouldn't be treated like shit. My argument isn't that white people should be treated like shit. My argument is that why can't we treat white people as well as every other race, the same. Why is it important that whites overtake every other minority in terms of population? It's, not like, it's because there's, I feel like there white will be. Built this Go ahead. Because white people built this country, man. This is, it, it's, and it's the same with Europe. It's, a, it's that different ethnic groups have different stories, right? If you're okay. an African American, your story is that your people were probably, what, colonized and, and they're enslaved or whatever brought to america against their will by white people whatever if you're a white person your story goes all the way back to to rome and greece and and there's okay. like the, all of that history of the upbringings of the civilization that you grew up in the, the culture in which you were brought the whole fabric of the society um that goes back all the way to those ancient civilizations in countless ways. Um, the Why? iconography is in our courthouses and stuff okay, for that reason. It, but... So we have different stories, and the and white people, their their cultures that they had at least, which are like now being dissolved, are what led to these great civilizations to be the way they are in the first place. And so when they are just like removed and replaced by people of different cultures. The country's going to look more and more like the places well, where they came from. No, Nobody's forcing to remove white people. It's just happening naturally, right? Like, it's happening naturally. No one's, like, killing white people in mass. No, not at all. True. That's why Brittany says, I'm against immigration, and I don't want it to happen, and everybody attacks also, her for it. What are you, uh, what, what are you what, what, Also, why? Brittany's being forced, and she, she wants it to stop, but it's being forced. So it is. What? Well, I don't know why you would Wait, say that. Wait, white people are being killed and lined up? This never, we never agreed to having yeah, we, this kind of mass immigration that yeah, is never happening. Got okay. This is literally one okay. of the primary here's my Okay, here's my question. I, I would love to time. continue we the conversation. voted on it. To uh, have it's part of, what, never, I, it's part of when you go to the polls. Well, every election. Here's my, here's my next question never, then. Never, why, never. Is, why, is, why is it a big deal? Why is it a big deal if... Other races live in a white-built country, and then whites don't become the majority. 
Why does it I matter? I mean, I already said this. I, I mean, if, if it becomes, like, 1% white and, like, we're completely purging oh all culture, I agree. But why does it matter if it goes under, like, 40, 50%? Uh, because the the okay so two reasons well one mm -hmm. the level of immigration is only increasing i will push back on it when i get a chance guys i want to make not, sure that boblox gets his time to speak and yep. so there so that's going to be increasing exponentially and secondly the because of the birth rates um we're we're being overtaken as a as a demographic in that realm as well and so that's only going to be increasing uh, absolutely so it's going to be it, uh, like an exponential curve to like 49% is not so far from 20%, 10%, 5%, 1% than you think, man. Like if everything keeps going along this trajectory, it's not just like going to be, you know, in 400 years, maybe we'll be, you know, 30%. It, that That's like, that's like 50 years from now. I mean, can I ask a question? You said, why you is said somebody like, well, here that's wait, hold on, hold on. Just he said, he go, you said like, well, if it goes down to 1%. I agree. Okay. Well, if you go down to 1%, you agree. But why is it at 1% that you agree? What is the point? What, What's the difference between those? Yeah. I mean, no, not because but, I, mean, then, I feel like if it gets to one percent at that point, the only way it can get to one percent in uh, like recent time, like if it happens in like two thousand years, okay, whatever. But if the only way it can happen in recent time is if we actively try to purge white people from the country, which is not happening. We're we're just so. mixing, right? So yeah, yeah, and that's just still that's still more white people. Everybody's white. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think that will happen. Um, a lot. Did you have a? Did you have any of uh, any other larger points? Or did you get to uh, uh, blue blacks before we move on? Well, m yeah, my main point, uh, just to summarize, is like, I don't think it's a big deal if white people become a minority. You were me like six months ago, dude. Well, have a few conversations with me. You know what? No, we should make you. we should make Native <laughs> Americans <laughs> over fifty percent. They were born here. Let's make them over fifty percent. Oh, also, face. yeah. <laughs> There we go. Let's go to. That's my let's point. Go. I just don't see it as a big deal. Like, if I become like a minority and I walk down the street and I don't see like a white person for like twenty minutes, like I'm not gonna cry. Like I don't give a fuck. No, you're not. But like, what people if are people, and I don't think Goldblatt. race is that important. But, like, hi, hi, hi. Mm -hmm. What if Hello? there is some kind of racial revenge that does happen? Then we what, should what? fight against it. We should fight against well, racism well, what always, side are you gonna be on? regardless. What side are you uh, on? Equality. Yeah, I'll be fighting for equality. No, 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 no. If people like, are discriminating against white thought... people, I will Excuse be on... What? If I don't see some... the... mm -hmm. If there's a racial revenge and they are, like, coming for any white person, what side are you going to be on? I'm going to be against people... Yeah, what are you gonna uh, I, I will be against people uh, trying to get rid of people for their race. Yeah, I want to I want to ask you about this. Hold on, I want to ask Brittany, you about this, uh, Brittany. Brittany, what do you think about these 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 sides, right? So you imagine this race war, right? Um, just just draw it out for me quickly. What are the sides that are in here, right? There's a conflict. There's gonna be multiple groups. What are the groups that you imagine are gonna be here? I think that every single racial group in this country has a common enemy and they are white people and i think that's because we are teaching people all that we're bringing in all these different types of people and just the only group we're teaching about how bad they so, are is white people so we don't Asians, do that about any other group so Asians and blacks and uh uh are gonna go are gonna gonna happen no i want to because because uh, like she you asked this question this? earlier Okay, she yeah, said sure. that there's three groups. She said there's white people, there's non-white people, and then there's white people who are going to help the non-white people kill black people. I mean, kill white people. So okay. those are the three groups. You know, there's that, and that's be... what she thinks. That's what she thinks this person is. She, she thinks, thinks that there's going to be no non-white people. Myself, so. there, there's going to be no non-white people who are going to be pushing back against uh, you know white Will people you being lined up and killed. Artist? Will she thinks the white Demi people Carta? who are. I would defend Bo Black. Yeah. yeah. So and Bo Black is on our side. Stardust is white people against everybody. That's it. Are you standing in solidarity with little Timmy Stardust? No, Stardust. She thinks so that white people the girl standing are going to be the push the for this. She thinks that white people are going to be the ones that are trying to get rid of white people. Wow. Okay. Um, amazing. I'm sorry. Right, so, I'm so sorry, um, GSU. I, I couldn't hear it because Mio was going on in the background as well. She, she thinks, she thinks sorry, white people I... are going to be the group that is trying to help all the other minority groups hurt white people. 
Yeah, I think, um, Look, what's his face? I stand with Black? BLM, and that's Bo Black's Lives Matter, okay? As well as... Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I'm oh, just yeah. saying that, like, I'm just saying that this in itself is racist, and that, like, you would think that if those are the sides that you're drawing, right? Well, then that all minorities would, at some point, like, go into a homicidal rage against white individuals. I mean, that's the racist part that I'm thinking about, right? That, like, this racist war... Uh, this, uh, no, 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 right? right? Because and never mind that, like... Same, right? That's, like, a racist... Like, even in, in itself, that's, well, like, you're, super racist. You're not, 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 not me, oh. Uh, Brittany. I want to talk about Brittany because I uh, that this is a racist thing that Brittany is. Brittany, this is a racist thing oh, that you hold, right? Oh, that you think that you think that uh, all minorities would uh, have a homicidal rage, go into a homicidal rage at some point. Every single and one. Then, but I huh? think yeah, I think every single racial group does have a racial grievance against white people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure. But do oh. all of us, like all black people, in this no. scenario? No? no. Okay. This all right. So then. So cool. all right. <laughs> well, I'm able to, I'm able to like, I'm able to, like, um, separate like individuals no. from certain groups of people. Okay, so let's uh, continue on. Let's continue on. Oh man, Yo, I have a uh, question for you. Uh, 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 there is something I wanted to bring we up. We got, earlier. we got, Doobie. We got, um, uh, Ty. We got, uh, Whiffin, Tubi, GSU, Brento, Doobie. Yeah, so Mio, uh, the reason I came on actually, um, is it seems like you dodged uh, GSU's question earlier. Um, he asks you if you think that white people who are currently and have been the majority in the United States are currently oppressing the minority groups in the country. Right? You responded by talking about all the ways the majority white population in this country has undone and fought against racist policies put in place by previous generations of white people in this country. If you can agree mm -hmm. that a racial majority can still favor, favor equal rights for racial minorities, why do you think that white people will necessarily be impress, oppressed in some way uh, when they become a minority? And I have a second question after right. that. But I'd really like you to answer okay. that. Yeah. Okay. So it's what I think it comes down to is that the history with the uh, white people when they were, you know, in political power is they colonized everybody. They were like under kingdoms and stuff. They became democracies and eventually full democracies. And they're like, slavery is wrong and progressively got to everyone should have equal voting rights. And what we did in the past was wrong. With the other groups, their story is different. It's inherently antagonistic to white people because of the, the history of what pe white people didn't felt bad, feel bad about now was done to them. Their story is the white man came and enslaved us and colonized us and you know they, they, they took over. We had this great stone kingdom in, in Africa and uh, you know that's and now we have power o over white people. It's it's at least a non-zero chance that something bad is going to happen from those those motivations. Okay, so so it's a different thing. So first That's off, why, um, the motivation. Again, I really need it needed uh, yeah, empathize, empathize, emphasize that your reading of history is just like totally fucking ignorant. And and I would on our own, I would pay you to sit no, with me and watch. Doc I would War pay you to sit with me and watch documentaries and go over do uh, primary sources about all this shit. But not just the African. I would pay uh, you to wait, watch please, 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 with me. Please, yeah, wait, what the fuck? Why didn't I get an offer please, that? I, we can watch. We can watch <laughs> the, the greatest. We can watch <laughs> the greatest story. I'll watch documentaries uh, for money. Hell please yeah. Stop. <laughs> please stop. Please stop. I'm glad Dibby. 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 It's your turn. We can watch. We can watch the greatest story never told later. Okay. I know that's. We've seen it. But but. But I'm not just talking about Asian, Sub-Saharan, African. I don't know. I'm talking, I've never heard of that. I'm talking about indigenous uh, uh, American empires, right? That existed in this country thousands of years before anything uh, like it, uh, similar in Europe, right? So, like this, this, I, I feel like this belief that um, you know white people have always been the oppressors and they've always been dominant and they've always been ahead of everybody else, right? I, I feel like I feel like that fucked up, uh, totally ignorant, incorrect belief. Is one of the reasons you think these people, when, when the minorities get into power, um, they're going to take revenge because they've never been in a position of power anywhere on the planet before, right? And 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 also the in addition to that, the idea that you think that these people give a fuck about shit that happened 500 years ago, a thousand years ago. I'm I'm an immigrant, right? My my family immigrated to the United States. Uh, I'm, well, I'm not an immigrant. My family are immigrants. They immigrated to the United States uh, the fucking 40s and 50s on both sides of my family, right? I give zero fucks about Mexico. I, I absolutely do not care. I'm as American nationalist as it fucking gets, right? I don't care about race at all. <laughs> so like this, this idea that every brown person in this country just, just favors the racial group, like by default is just crazy. How do you vote? 
<laughs> uh, depends depends on the year. I, I voted for Bernie, then I voted for Trump. Oh, okay. Interesting. Whoa. You're one of those. Well, Zuby is a racist. Like so. You're one of those people <laughs> with actual opinions. And stuff. Uh, I do have a second. I do have a second question, but I really want you to like, again, try to justify that belief. Yeah, yeah. Belief well, that. I'll, yeah, I'll, ad I'll address that. Um, so yeah, that's actually not like my reading of what happened in history that what you think is wrong. That's what I think their wrong interpretation of history is. What I think is the real true history is that the people who mm. built civilization as we know it and as we all know and love uh, came in and graced everybody else with it okay the colonization period <laughs> people who were colonized are literally better off than the people who were not colonized it's just they yeah. actually if you go to countries in africa where they were not colonized next door they say that they wish that they were because they don't have all the cool toys that zimbabwe and, and south africa have um, and it would be a lot nice if they had clean water and medicine and, you know, all that good stuff that the civil that the spaceship builders invented. Um, so, yeah, that's what okay, I think that's... is the real true history of what happened. Uh, and that, that, again... I think that they shouldn't have a problem with white people, but they do because, you know, it's the, you know, they just don't get it. Look, obviously. again, oh, okay. Mio, hold on. Mio, wait, wait. you think slavery was a good thing and black people should be happy that they were enslaved, Bruh. right? No, not that. Oh, Sorry, God. just colonization. I was referring to. Okay, so I, 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 I want to address everybody that. I'm, I'm gonna, in the world. I'll get back slavery. to it. Everybody's done slavery. White people stop yeah, slavery. Oh, They're boy. actually the first people to stop slavery. Not um, true. So, that. Ooh, okay, yeah, so, that's a hot so, take too. Well, hold on. Yeah, well, hold on. So, so the the UK did go around the planet trying to stop slavery. Slavery. That, that's true. Um, but but they weren't the first ones to do it. White people weren't the first ones to do that. That's that's not true. Um, but that was my first question. I don't think you answered it fully, but I'd really like to get to the second question before Prime Minister will go to somebody else. Okay. Um, the second question is, uh, so uh, if you're not concerned with skin color as much as you are like racial revenge directed at people who look white, why isn't the solution to this a beautiful beige horizon achieved by more race mixing? True. True. <laughs> That's what if I want. You just mandate no, state mandated. To no, no, I'm not talking about mandated, right? No, oh, I'm asking you why, why you're not, why you personally are not advocating for more race for, no, no, race mixing. No, no, no. I, this needs to happen. I'll do fast, my part. Right? Like Don't worry. Before. Same. <laughs> Feed oh, me yeah. with that white power, bro. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Don't jump to a no, I'm not gonna shit at it. Okay. Don't jump to a straw man. I'm not. I'm not talking about like mandating race mixing. I'm asking why you personally are not advocating for more race mixing so that we have less people who, who look like racially like different. I want white girls that you love in 200 years. I want them to still. Exist. You're not going to be around in 200 years. Why, why do you give a fuck? Uh, because I care. What is the the quote? Uh, a, a good man, a wise man, plants trees in whose shade he will never see. But you'll still oh, have... Maybe, you'll still have you ain't you'll planting still your seed in anybody 200 fresh, years from now, bro. Red heads, it'll be a better place, okay? Wait, hold on. Wait, what, why are well, you, they why won't you be white. Why uh, are you projecting your, your sexual preferences upon people who are, aren't even alive for the next 200 oh, years? Oh, no, 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 no not sense. at all. This is according to data are. and statistics. White girls are like, you know, like the at the very, very top of attractiveness. Um, Actually, no. Mixed race uh -huh. people are and considered more attractive right. than white people by, by data and statistics. That that's just true. I, they, I haven't. Mixed race I, people I are considered more attractive. So so I'm, again, I'm asking you. Mixed race air, air quotes included, but like right. when it's just strictly along racial lines, like OK Cupid, Cupid did studies. There were other studies done as well across dating apps where. Is it's, that due to socialization well, or is that due to like like human nature though? Like like it's literally kind of, socialization. Yeah. So that, yeah. That's an interesting question. I want to hear your take on that, Stardust. No, don't don't so don't no don't wait, don't deflect. He's gonna he's gonna go to another question. Okay, <laughs> you you're afraid All that right. people that two hundred years from now, people who look white, little Timmy, little white boy, pure pure white skin is going to be oppressed because he looks white and people are going to uh, project upon him all the crimes of no, no, being no, too white years. people. Right? Okay. Twenty years. <sighs> 20 years okay well pretend it's 20 it's years it's already That's... happening now okay so yeah well hold on i'm not going to say that that anti-white prejudice and racism doesn't happen it absolutely does but you have plenty of non-white people saying that's a bad thing that shouldn't be fucking happening right so do you think there will be your, more, so more your, your position more your position is that in, in in 200 years right you want there to still be white people right for some fucking reason even though you think that if these That's white people wrong. exist if these white people exist right they're going to be uh attacked for their skin color 
right? So I'm asking if that's what you're concerned about, it's, it's not so much a skin color. It's, it's uh, your descendants, if you have any kids, uh, not, not being like oppressed for their white skin. Why aren't you just going out and sleeping with an Asian woman or a Hispanic woman or a black woman and making kids? Uh, because I don't can. want my ancestors to cry. I want to Why carry the cry? torch of <laughs> Why do your, They're your dead, bro. They're not crying. Yeah, what the fuck? They will sound right now. So hold on. So hold on. So in their graves and get up and cry. So hold on. So wait, 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 please. Can I, can I just add on to this really quickly? Right, we can we can look all over this planet, over like two hundred years back, a hundred years back, and find uh, racial groups. That, that have mixed more and now look now that their descendants look totally different they're, they're that group isn't gone forever their history still exists their descendants are still alive right this is just saying that you know because you don't look uh and, and you probably don't look like your ancestors a thousand years ago right so saying that because your your great 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 grandchildren aren't going to look like you that's somehow like a loss to the world it just it seems like this weird egotistical look shit. Like you. what are you why, what are you what crazy? What are you talking about? Of course you want your children to look like you. Wait, Everyone in their right They'll look like you. They'll, not your they'll children. just be a little different. Not your children. Like, oh, yes, not your children. Your right. children 300 years down the road. Right. Your descendants oh, 300 yes, years down the road. You yes, want them to look like you when you yes, don't even look like your 300 years back? I don't look like my I don't look like my sister 300 years ago. They were in fucking Spain or something. And before that, they were in Greece and fucking all over the fucking place. I'm a very mixed person. I can go back 2,000 years and I'll be in Africa. Right, like who, who cares? Like I don't understand that's, why this that's is a big deal for you. That's interesting about you, but that's not the norm across like every nation in all of human history. That's not like how people, uh, just like it intermingled like that. People formed nations um, for a reason. Wait, yeah, hold on, but nations are intermingled. Go ahead. Nate, wait, no, what? Please. No, hold on, really quick. I, I need to respond, please. Yeah, please. Go ahead. Okay. Nations formed of people that looked. Uh, uh, aesthetically similar they have similar genotypes yeah, they because have, they, they formed the people life. that lived in this area and they live they looked a certain way because they've lived in that area for generations oh, it's bro. not because they prefer to look like Facts. they prefer, prefer to live around people that look like that it life. just they happened to be the people ancestors. in the fucking area <laughs> right so like oh, and so even, me, even back then when they traded oh. with people sometimes those people settled down in in these new civilizations right they didn't have these fucking ethno states even rome had had like mixed race people uh, different ethnicities and racial groups greece did too Right, so like, just it, this, it's not, like, not, it's not, it's not. Don't for, don't pretend, don't pretend that Rome crumbled because of diversity. Guard. That is another bad shit, uh, a, a historical <laughs> take by you. Right, and we can go over that too if you'd like sometime. Uh -huh. So, right, Mio, yeah, would you say that people so, that interracially they were mixed enriched that? by diversity? Diversity was their strength. Mio, would you say, would you say people who, I'd who, like to know who how many interracial here think relationships that diversity are, is our strength? Though, actually, that's a good question. Hey, Mio. Hey, Mio, are people yeah. that mix interracially, would you say those people are bad? Are they bad? People, yeah, those people yeah, are upholding sin. this. I don't, I don't think it's a sin. No, but that's not what I actually... That actually was it a sin. I actually do you Sorry, think Sorry, I'm, I'm Christian. Bad to me is sin. That's like are you say, you're saying the act of interracial... Being interracial uh, couple, you're saying is that bad? Is that you're, like, you're talking about the act? Yes. Um, okay. Yes. You can't set me yeah, up. I don't I don't think I don't think Jesus ever said anything about that. I don't think it's a sin. Okay. All right. All right, moving on. All right. And I see your hand up Stardust, right? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, do you think voting Democrat is bad? Because they have all of these policies <laughs> well, that, that are about voting Democrats a sin well, about, uh immigration. That's the no, that's the biggest thing. Oh, we got we got it. We got it. We got it. You just you, said that we're moving you know, on to Stardust. On the list, dude. We got yes, on, we got a lot of people. We got a lot of people. So Ty is next. Ty, I'm listen. To show that Jesus. bad doesn't come from the Bible. Jesus, he would say yeah, other shit is bad. That's not got anything to do with the Bible. So now right. y'all let yeah, him run away from the question. I'm, I'm sorry, GSU. Look, we got a lot of people. We got a lot of people here. We got a lot of people. So we got to go yeah, down the list. Right. You're on the list. Just talk. Yeah, okay. I, I don't think it's Ty. my turn yet. No, I saw this not yeah, going next. Uh, yeah. I said uh, Ty, Wiffin, Tubi, uh, GSU, Brento. Um, hello, Ozellis. Hi. How are you? Um, thanks for being here. Nice to see you. Hello. Um, yeah, and we're glad that you're joining us. Um, so uh, I'll put you on the list, uh, assuming you'll have something to say by then, and then we'll go to Stardust. All right, let's go. Um, Ty, please. Yeah, so I don't know if this is going to go anywhere, but I'll try it anyway. So uh, this this nation used to be known as like the, you know, the Wasp Nation, the white anglo saxon Protestant, right? And my uh, direct ancestry is French. And that ancestry was seen as the dirty people, the wrong people. They weren't allowed in here, right? They were dirty French Catholics. Um, now oh, they're true. white. 
No, literally. Now they're white. Like, they're not seen as different. They're not seen as others. The same things can be said of the Germans. Same things can okay. be said conservative, the everybody. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, like, I've never heard it before. Yeah, um, no, this, yeah, this, is, this is the reality. Like, the, the idea of what these lines are morphs and changes. And you can literally go back to the ancestors of these people and say and say it's different. The English are made up of Normans and Nor or Norwegians and uh Gallic peoples and all these other folks. Like literally ethnicity changes all the fucking time. But the Normans were an invasion, okay? I won't tolerate that kind of anglophobic hatred. In literally the normans are who makes the anglos dude like what the hell it is the fusion yeah, right. of the people yeah, who are there along with the normans in France, okay yeah and it was an invasion okay that's not a good thing okay anyway but cool it, 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 I'm, I'm the, yeah. the normans obviously brought like a you know they they were like a ton of the leaders and stuff but um so what was your point? Oh, yeah. My, my, like, my point French, is, is that this changes. Right. Like, it right. used to be that so, this yeah. was the so English here's, here's how it changed. Here, here's the deal. Back then, like, the Germans hated the French, and they're like, these are our mortal enemies. And the British hated the French, and they're like, these are our mortal enemies. But, like, it, we just talked about things differently, okay? The, our ancestors had very, very different... It's hard to view things from that kind of historical lens that long ago. But... They thought the French were their mortal enemies, but that they were humans, okay? They thought everybody else wasn't humans. When they were like, all men are created equal, um, it's like they thought of some people that we think of as people today as property. So it was a very, very different time back then. When you would say, like, well, everybody who is white now, who didn't used to be, that's what our ancestors just called humans. Okay, yeah, so here, here's the problem that I've got with what you're saying, right? Is, is that on a level, you might even be right. But here's the here's the thing that I'm saying. Today is that there are people that qualify as white. They're like, hey, you know what? All these other people, they're humans too. I'd like to have them treated the same way that I am. And to go with what you guys were talking about politically earlier, yeah, I'm Republican. Yeah, I'm you know center-right. I don't go with everything on there. But yeah, I want my black brothers and sisters to be, be Republicans and vote Republican. Most of them that I know of are pro-life, family-oriented, and love capitalism. They just want to participate in it more. still going to vote Democrat. <laughs> and why is that? Might it be because of the fact that because I have to deal with people like you in my fucking... No, I'm not done, motherfucker. Is it maybe because of the fact that I have to deal with people like you in my fucking coalition that are like, oh, hey, guys, you know, we don't really want black people here or brown people here because we're scared of them. When they have so much in common with us that they shouldn't even yep. be voting left... But they're voting left because uh, we won't make a home for them. They're voting. That's what it is. They're voting left because the Republican Party isn't pandering to them enough. No, that's bullshit. Why, did, why didn't they think of that? that that's, a, that's a dishonest response to what he said. Because what you're doing right now is ensuring that, that the, the minority people in the, in the audience who are, who are listening to you um, aligning racism and ethno ethno-nationalism with republicanism and conservatism, you're ensuring that they're going to be less likely to vote for republicans and conservatives in the future. So I you're making sure this future you're afraid of, this future you're afraid of, mainstream republicans are saying the things that, that like we say? Do you think Wait, mainstream on. republicans you, are you, saying this hold stuff? Hold on, when, when, Brit. When uh, Tiberius started talking about these ancient African civilizations, which is true, by the way, he was correct about it. You started laughing at him saying, oh, this is a conservative, as if conservatives need to be like racist toward African empires. He's or saying something. that he is not very, this is the most right wing you can get on fucking Twitch. Like, you're Why not you allowed. Right wing like... means, means bad at history. Why do you think right wing means bad at history? Why do I think right wing means bad at history? I don't even no, know. Yeah. Right wing means right. good at history, and he's just not. Wait, hold on. Again, uh, Britt, I'll, I'll go through with you two. Okay, if you want to go watch documentaries with me, we can well, go over primary like sources. No, no, no. Primary yeah, sources yeah, about we'll ancient African civilizations. Because you're, what you're saying right now is just ignorant. No, no. It's, Baby, it's let me take bad. this back before I have an aneurysm. Like, like, address this with me because I, like, I need to go down this road. Like, mm -hmm. why is no seriously? Why is it that we, as the right wing conservatives, can't get? black and brown people to vote for us because we just picked up nine points of the Hispanic community between the ultimate racist of Donald Trump between 2016 and 2020. Maybe it was because we spoke to their issues, particularly, believe it or not, border security is one of the biggest ones. If you look, Texas was going to go blue. What's your immigration? What are you, where are you stand on it's immigration? It's still going to go blue. 
What are you talking? Where do you wait? No, where did where does the right wing twitcher stand on immigration? Where do I stand on immigration? We need serious and strong border security. And I absolutely disagree with modern academics that immigration is just a net all positive win. They're full of shit. Get, like, no, we're, no, we are good with legal immigration types. I'm right, okay right. with legal immigration. We, it needs some reform. Zero percent of the population, as long as it's legal. Wait, what? We could become zero percent of the population, and you wouldn't have a problem with it as long as it's legal, right? It's I, done I don't. No, legal, legal, or illegal. I don't expect that the norm of what you think of as white people is going to stay consistent. I don't. We're seeing right now that there are people that ethnically had identified as Hispanic. Their kids and their grandkids, without are intermarriage, you, are, are now identifying as white. Hey, Tiberius, are you white? I supposedly. You call yourself white. What if sure. there was some kind of okay? So what if there was some I kind of racial white. revenge? I'm because not concerned about. Whose side are you? I'm not concerned right? about it. What Who's do you think is going to happen? Like, are you, are you grandstanding on Twitch about how like we are like our diversity is our strength is going to save you from that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not. Diversity is a double-edged sword. It has pros. It has cons. Here's the reality for me. That, what are the that pros? Makes, huh? What are the pros? It does yeah. bring different ideas and different viewpoints into a situation. Yeah, it's hard to balance that, that sometimes. An online type That's of diversity world. of thought. Yeah, diversity of That's thought, diversity, diversity of thought. culture, diversity, diversity of opinion. You can put all of this in there. Look, I don't agree with the left that diversity is literally just, hey, people look different than me, and that's it. There is differences yeah. in culture between people. But on the other side of that, the thing that pisses me off about your type is that these are, like, endemic, that they're encoded into each group of people and that they cannot change, they cannot morph, and they not cannot become something different. They're not changing. It's just not happening, dude. Like, look around. It's not – they're not changing. Now, our whole neighborhoods are changing to look more like where they came from. That's what's been happening for the past 60 years, and that's why Donald Trump got elected on Build the Wall. He's the, it's, it's America saying no more of that. We don't want to see our Mexico? changing. We never got a vote on it, and we want uh -huh. it to stop. There's, there's like 70 million Americans that feel this way, man, strongly. Yeah, and there is something. Why, no, okay. why, why did you vote for Trump? Tiberius, why did you vote for Trump? Why did I why did I vote for Trump? Yeah, why, why, why was you why I Trump? For, okay, no, I voted for Trump for three primary reasons. Primary yeah. reason number one is that I do think the balance of power between the rich and the poor is completely fucked. Why is that? Because we decided, hey, we're gonna put the entire world on the same economic engine as you know, 800 million Westerners that have the standard of living at like $60,000 a year and have them compete with 3 billion Asians that live off of $10 a day. Like, or I'm sorry, $1 a day. That's not an economic battle that you can win. You are literally going to see every economic possibility that you have for you drain out to East Asia, which is what we've seen for the last 30 years. Okay. So what number one, second reason? So, second reason is, is that I actually do respect law and order. I'm more of a traditional Republican here. And when I hear shit like defund the police, I'm not remotely on board with it. I don't even give a shit the what they- around before he was, um, well, didn't that come like after? That came after he was uh, I'm president. talking 2020. Like, okay, so we got to move this along. Um, yeah, but anyway, so yeah, long, long story short, like, uh, I'm, I'm not going to budge you guys on this. That's fine. That's great. Whatever. Uh, I'll just preach the audience for a second and say, look, I want a different Republican Party. These people ha fucking hold this back, and I hate that I have to be in this coalition. I'd love to exercise them, but I can't do it alone. I need people that are willing to reach across the aisle, both as lefties and both in the black and Hispanic community to say, hey, you know what? I believe in Tiberius's vision more than these motherfuckers. And I'd actually like to call myself a Republican because you know what? I am pro-life. I do like capitalism and I do want strong families in the Americas. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Ty. Much appreciated. Well okay. All right, moving on. Um, and uh, Doobie, you're on the list too. All right. Uh, so uh, we got uh, Whiffin, Tubi, Gishu, Brento, Zealous, Stardust. Lauren, hello. Hi. Nice to have hey, you. Hey, good to be here. What are we chatting about? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, this is a fun one. Hey, bitches. Nazi uh, queen here to join the chat. Well, They're well, worried about well, white people becoming a minority. And that's what they yeah. yeah. yeah, like a, a, a you know, the They're obviously racial common revenge. race war. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're talking They're about. Very afraid. Um, but thank you. I really appreciate you. So let's uh, move on to uh, Whiffin, who's been waiting uh, patiently. Please. Uh, so I had two two major questions. One's kind of a meme. The other's kind of more serious. Uh, the first is like, for me on Brit, would the white parents of a mixed race person be targeted in your purge, in the hypothetical the white people purge? The white purge. 
What did I miss? A lot. <laughs> Would white parents of a mixed race child be targeted? targeted. Uh, yeah. We're not the ones doing. The Wait, purging. what is this okay, purge we're... happening? What's the purge? <laughs> This is, the, uh, this is our friend uh, uh, Britain, Brittany's idea here. Um, that at some point, basically, when white people lose uh, the ma majority, right? At some point, uh, uh, other races are going to take out all the racial animus against white people. That white people be the enemy, right? The uh, one, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. So, like, Brittany, what's happening be, uh, in South Africa? Then... <laughs> yes, exactly what's happening in South Africa. We can talk None about South them, Africa, but, but the... we're not <laughs> Okay. Okay. Be the one to answer. Okay. Sorry. I'll, I'll I'll listen to Brittany's purge idea while I grab a beer. Um, <laughs> no. Nothing. Okay. Uh. So they don't, they can't they can't. Uh, Again, like if this is to happen, it's going to be like in my eyes, it's going to be purely a visual thing. They're not going to know who your visual, children okay. are. They're not going to know who your well, connections are. They're not like, going to know. That's the Mimi part I want to get into. Uh, wouldn't it be in your best interest to have as many mixed race children as possible? No, why would that be in my best interest? Because you could just like put them all over your body, like uh, baby bjorns <laughs> all over. And just, it's like, are you going to show you guys? I got to jump in here. Did you know, like, if you guys have ever, has anyone here been to South Africa or like spent any significant My dad's time? girlfriend is from I South Africa. Your movie. Okay. People who are mixed race in South Africa. Oh, did you? Thank you for watching. Yeah. Um, people who are mixed race yeah. in South Africa are not considered black. Like, they're colored and they're a different group and they discriminate against other people and are discriminated against as a separate group. Hold on, but yeah, the, the, racial, the, racial an, the racial animus in South Africa, isn't it at all comparable to the United States, though? Because you had up until the 90s, apartheid, where uh, prior to that, for decades before that, millions of people, I think it's like 3.5 millions of, uh, of uh, Africans, black Africans, were taken off their land and put into Bantu stands where, they were, uh, where policies were put in place where they couldn't be educated like the white people in the country. Right? They, they, were, they were legally put into like laborer education. Right At, after they were kicked off their land, and a lot of these Bantu sands didn't have running water or electricity, and that was like, that was in the nineties. So you can't really There's compare. Been, and, and this uh, is this uh, is a place where they were the majority. majority I, I didn't the compare. I, I wasn't comparing South okay, Africa to America. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of mixed history there. You know, it's a, it's very different from a lot of what people would look at as colonial countries as well. When you look at the um, the Boer people, because they were actually brought there as indentured servants themselves. And the Boer trekkers went across trying to survive in South Africa as uh, basically, you know, escaped slaves from the Dutch East India Company. And those are white people that uh, ended up teaming up with uh, indigenous populations in South Africa to uh, fight against the Zulu menace that were murdering people in the Umfukane, the massive slaughtering and dispersing of peoples. There's, it's very different from America for sure, and definitely can't be right. compared to just a white, black, white people, evil invaders, black people, uh, slaves. There's a lot of mix up there. Uh, yeah, I don't think South anybody's African like history. saying that that like racial animus or race, or race war, quote unquote, um, can't happen. And we see we've seen tribal warfare all over the planet for thousands of years, right? Usually along, sometimes along racial lines because these tribes tend to look similar to each other, right? So that's it's definitely a thing that can't happen. I think what we're saying is there's no. Uh, there's no future where it seems like this is going to happen in the United States. So, so okay, uh, before I, I before have... we get lost in here, Whiffin was in the middle okay. of something, so please. Uh, so my other question was, can either one of you describe a country that's frozen its ethnic or racial makeup and just remain stagnant? Japan. Uh, Mongolia. <laughs> okay, and how's Mongolia doing? They seem happy, honestly. They're living the life i'd rather live there than any city in america okay they've kept their culture Mongolia? intact they've kept their lifestyle intact they they seem um like it's it's not on the list of like most dangerous or most horrible countries any of those lists in the world so it seems like a not horrible place to live and they've, they've kept their demographics in in check the entire time you could look at china which is like been a han chinese ethno state you know since what the last dynasty ended and um Wait, hold on. So, so you're like telling me they're, they're the second most prosperous country in the world, about to be you the first. Rather live. They're, they're like, Wait, oh. you, everyone loves talking about the Uyghur, what, whatever's happening yeah. there, right? That's because the Han Chinese are such a super majority that they impose 
their uh th their culture and everything else their way of life on everyone else to the extent of okay wait whatever so doing. before you get into china right because you're like that's irrelevant so you just told us that you believe that if a, if a, minor, if a majority uh, uh, group exists in a country, they're probably going to impress majority, the minority group in the country, right? But you, I don't think you're Mongol or Mongolese or whatever the fuck that ethnic group is called. So, but you just told us that you'd rather live in Mongolia, right? Where where the the where it is very like like uh, ethnically uh, homogenous than than any city in the United States. You see how that contradicts Actually, a ton of earlier? different tribes, well, well, but I wouldn't, whatever. Because, like, I'm not <laughs> Mongolian and they're nationalistic. Obviously, I'm just saying like. Okay, so you wouldn't. Mongolia. Rather live in Mongolia than in any country in the U.S. Or than any city in the U.S. I mean. Well, well, and no, I guess I literally being myself, being me, wouldn't. You're being hyperbolic in line, yeah. Yeah, because I'm not. Yeah, I'm okay. not Mongolian. But okay, yeah, I just want to. What sure. I'm saying is that, like, if there was a Mongolia, except for like my historic people my ancestors from like the nation from which i come from that kept their demographics in place as well which just hasn't been allowed to exist in the entire world and it's like a great immoral a great injustice where are the anglos from says they would like for one to be then you say um, you're anglo right let's so where, where are the anglos from uh yeah look at the immigration rates there it's like there's a massive no i'm asking where are the anglos from europe. england oh isn't england like almost 90 percent white if i remember correctly the demographics are, are changing rapidly there and all across Europe as well, and it's only increasing. And, okay, and but if fact, you're people that are what is much, the much lower rate than the United States, right? calling them racist and Nazis, just like you got people are calling Britney now. People that are saying we want it to stop, people are saying we want it to, to remain this way. You're saying that's immoral. It's wrong somehow. So it's no, like I'm not, not saying that. I'm not saying it's like inherently wrong. I'm telling you to give me a good reason for it. And every reason you've given me so far has been either been admittedly hyperbolic or just like weird vir virtue signaling about wanting your, uh, your descendants 300 years from now to look like people you're attracted no, to today. Like it just doesn't make any sense. So give me a good reason for it. It has not been working. I thought we all like understood that. That's not like true. You just made that up. What? Yeah, okay. So they're, they're, wait, hold on. So multiculturalism, they're, they're different. Like, white people, quote unquote, aren't like a homogenous cultural group, right? There are many subcultures within, quote unquote, white people. If you go to like yeah, Louisiana, yeah, you're, you're going to find like, a far different culture among the white people there than people who live in New York or California or Ohio, right? So, like, what do you mean by like culture? Uh, yeah, no, I think that there's no like single American culture here now. And uh, it's like obviously different b between different cities, but like people from Alabama and people from New York still have more in common with each other than they do with people from Mongolia. Like, obviously. Um, OK, but and, if people from someone from Mongolia immigrated and then lived in the country for their, 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 what, for 50 years. Right. And their, their children grew up here. Right. Were they were their children, do you think, have more in common with people from Mongolia or people from the United States? Uh, probably, well, it, it depends, honestly, because there are a lot of communities where they re retain, they still speak their own language in the house. They, they still, they live in communities where they all speak their own language. There are places where, like, you need to speak their language in order to get a job with them. Yeah, you're, talking about, you're talking about enclaves, which is like, like, Koreatown, or if in California, there's Glendale, that's fucking full of yeah, Armenians, right. like the highest it's Armenian like, population, second highest Armenian population on the planet, Korea. but... But hold on, but those people interact with the rest of the, the state, right? They, they go out of Ar Glendale sometimes and they interact with you and people who aren't uh, Armenian come into Glendale sometimes and go into Koreatown sometimes, right? So they're still interacting with each other and they're not murdering each other right. on the streets they because they're not, they're not Armenian. In Korea or in, whether they'd feel more at home in Korea or in Alabama is a fair question, though, I think. Because I think like... No, it's not. For a lot I, of I think, them, I think a Korea. lot of these people are recent immigrants. If they, they felt more at home in Korea, they'd stay in Korea. No, you you were talking about the children of these immigrants. It's like, do they yeah. ever like have a longing to go back to where their culture is from and all of that? Or so go like, back to a probably, place where they've never lived ever? Like again, I'm uh, third yeah. generation I'd from like Mexico, and both sides of my family. England. I wouldn't, I man. It's where my where I'm from. It's like why don't you go live in England then? Why don't you have this longing deep in you? Isn't to go that live like in literally somewhere? the point? Like why should we be driven I, out of I, our I, own country though? Well, wait, do nobody's driving you out. You literally Nobody's just said go move to England. Wait, hold on. He's saying that these people would Dude, have a deep longing nations. inside, deep inside their heart, right? To go back to the place where their culture is from. Why doesn't he have that? A lot mm. of them do. Like, a lot of them do go Why back. Why don't you? Why and don't I, you personally no, have that? I've thought about going back to England. I've wanted, like, vacation there, visit Have you ever been places. there before? I've got family. 
No, I, no have. I haven't. But like, I've got. Then why would you say going back to England? Like what? England. It's awesome. I want to see it real bad. Okay, hold on. Okay, do you guys so, think so, it's okay to be white? Yeah, that's fine. Hell um, yeah, dude. Do you think do you think that you have more in common with like someone in no. your state than than someone in England than who looks like you? Do you think you have more in common with with someone who, who grew up next door to you, lives in your state, or someone in Eng some random dude in England? I guess it depends on who the dude is. If he grew up next oh, to me, God. he's probably like engulfed in the same exact culture that I was. So I would probably but it's not English culture. Get along better with him. Um, okay. but that's yeah so so you being a, being a descendant of the anglos if you being a descendant of the anglos not, not only are you not feeling you're an immigrant's kid right so not only are you not feeling this deep yearning to return to england no, yes I'm you a, are I, you're I'm a you're, you're, you're you sounded offended, offended by that yeah. holy shit yeah this is me our ancestors are from is this guy mio sorry yes yes this is mio this is mio mio do you think it's okay to be black of course it is. I think Look at oh, God, we found some common point. ground. It's okay Great. to be white, Wonderful. everyone. It's okay to be black. Okay. It's so, all um, right uh, to be everyone. So, all right. I'm uh, bored of this Doobie, subject. So, I'm not yeah, arguing, but Doobie, we gotta uh, we gotta move forward. Uh, do, what's your, uh, your final point on this? I gotta move forward to other people. Yeah, I'm just I'm just wondering why he's not applying these kind of things to himself. So he says that uh, he thinks that the descendant the descendants of immigrants, right, to the United States would feel like some deep longing to be around people who look like them with a culture that, that looks like the one oh, that they came from. Yeah. And they're, they're children who never who never existed in the the, the home country, quote unquote, right? Um, would also feel this deep longing to go back to their cultural roots, right? Of their, because their parents they're raised their with but, but, their... but, 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 but you don't feel that longing. You're not going to, you haven't moved no, to the UK so far. Let me, let me, you just agreed no, with me I, that you'd have more in common with somebody who grew up in your state than someone in, somebody in England. So where's that cultural longing for you? And here's why, and here's why. It's because they're raised with like a semblance of their historic culture and they would I would feel if I was them a need to to go see that and explore that a little like your roots. Um, for me, oh, it's, I live in America, which is it's, it's been a predominantly Anglo-Saxon culture uh, since its founding. It was that that's the, the founding stock. So like it's very similar to English culture or its roots or like in ways that matter greatly. And so, like, I don't feel not at home here. Um, and I, I don't think I would feel not at home in England or in Australia or in Canada or in New Zealand, to be honest, because they all have these same Anglo-Saxon roots. Okay, um, we got we to gotta move on. Uh, Tubi, TS2, Brento, Zealous, Stardust, yeah, Lauren. Uh, Tubi. Why do you so... invite this many people to panels? I'll never understand that. Yeah, it's, open. A, it's quite a bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, if anyone has a problem, they can leave and at least smaller, right? Okay. I'm Thanks. doing that in ten minutes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye. All right. Let's go. Um. Uh, TB. Yeah. So I mean, honestly, I don't know how much more I can add to this because you guys, have, I think, pretty much covered everything. I think we're at an impasse at this point. Um. I just wrote down some notes, and I actually have to leave because I have to do stuff in the morning. But, um. Yeah. So Brittany, I I feel really. It actually makes me sad that you feel this way um, and that these are the concerns that you have about um, not wanting the races to invert in terms of their distribution throughout the population because you feel that um, the minority groups have an, maybe an exaggerated racial animus towards white people that would not allow us to offer you some the same degree of sympathy or some degree of sympathy. I think that's really unfortunate. Prime, this is exactly why me and Doobie argued with you pretty vehemently about um, anti-white racism and certain racialized language and certain phrases directed at white people. Um, that was the first time I've seen Doobie get like actually angry on the panel and like actually yell at you. Um, Wait, Doobie yelled at me? When did you do that, Doobie? I don't remember that. He yelled at me. Yeah, oh, at me. Yeah. Oh, he yelled, he yelled, he yelled at you. Both. Yeah, but I think... Um, it's not that this is a one-to-one -one correlate. So because you practice um, this anti-white racism stuff that you get necessarily the beliefs that uh, Brittany um, has right now, that she's adopted right now. But this stuff definitely creates a certain cultural milieu to where we get into this weird degree of thinking where we're trying to, because if you look at the arguments we've had, it's, it's not about uh, achieving equitability in society or parity anymore. Now we're talking about, well, these people are valuable because 
they cut their culture either suffered from a certain degree of destitution or it has a certain degree of affluence or privilege or whatever. I don't know. It, to me, it just seems like when you guys go out into the world every day and you guys interact with people, you guys really feel like, and this is for Brittany and whoever else, you guys really feel like there's so much racial animus. I understand that there are certain, there's a certain milieu that we have right now because there is a lack of um, fluidity between our interactions because yes, we have different cultures and we have different social mores that we practice within our groups, but you guys are so convinced that kinship is offered just because I look like this person or because uh, we live in the same neighborhood or whatever. I've grown up around people who look, well, they don't look like me. I'm, I'm mixed race, but they share some of my history with me and I don't share kinship with them at all. In so fact, do you think I don't have off a little uh, bit? Can, I, can I jump in here? Oh, sorry. What were you saying, Brittany? Do you feel like a little bit lost sometimes being mixed race? Um, no, and that's the thing. I know some people struggle with that. I personally just haven't had that. I feel like for me, at least what I got out of my mixed race experience was a greater degree of universality with regards to how I relate to other people. Because yeah. yes, I know I belong to these two racial groups. I'm biracial, but they draw a distinction when what you are the interact with them. I'm asking. So I'm at, my mom is African American, my dad is Mexican. Um, so, but you know, around other Black people, other Hispanic people, they know they typically know that I'm mixed race. They acknowledge that I I have heritage that I share heritage with them or whatever. But there's still a distinction that you have, and you and you notice the distinction. But I didn't look at that as a bad thing. It just it's just different, and then. It, it didn't allow me to develop what I think a lot of people develop for their race, which is reverence. They don't just develop an appreciation for their culture and appreciation for the traditions that are passed on to them. They develop reverence. So I think that's actually bad. That entrenches you within a certain culture. And then you, you, you disregard the practices of other people. Someone mentioned something about uh, diversity is our strength and like that phrase or whatever. It's not that diversity is inherently our strength, but it is to say that different people from different milieus accumulate different sources of knowledge, different expertise because of the things that they're around. No one race has access to all sorts of all sources of insight. So I got from my experiences being mixed race that there are certain things from Black people's culture that I benefited from. There are certain things from Mexican people's culture that I benefited from. There are certain things from white people's culture that I benefited from. You know, from as many groups of people that I could interact with as possible. Um, You're mixing culture and race a bit there, I think. As well, like I think one... they have. I think they correlate to a certain extent. It's not that they're universal, yeah, but like, yeah, I, I would say. No, they white do. People... They do correlate to some extent. But like to me, I don't. When I think of white culture, I don't. I, I think of like individual, uh, like, you know, Swedish culture or, you know, German yeah, you're culture. You're not allowed to say white people have a culture. You say Mexican you culture. That you too. That's, well, hold on, but I was going to say that, um, Prime Case fan, I was going to say that. I don't like that either. His I've name is Mio. With, <laughs> yeah. Um, I've, argued name, with people about that. I've argued with people about that too. <laughs> I think that's, that's also disrespectful and bad for our society too. And I, and I think it feeds into the kind of feelings that you've developed over your lifetime. I don't think it's good. That's why me and Are you talking are to me? Or no, I said, okay. you're not sorry. listening. I said, I said prime case. He's talking to me. Oh, okay, and, sorry. and the funny thing is, uh, Lauren seems to be the white people that Brittany was talking about, which is engaging in this kind of thing, saying white people don't have a culture. Um, Wait, so I literally it, just said, I think of individual she of, white. She thinks of an individual okay. culture. Right. Like she's, she gave an example of people who are Swedish. What? Oh, what I don't do know. Mean? Of course, white people yeah, have, you have a very yeah. deep yeah. and distinct culture, but I think referring to it as just white culture is a bit strange and ignorant of the right. fact. However, that you, broad, you, have broad, I guess, yeah. you have to agree. It's, it's ironically like anti-white racism when you say something like that. Have some things in common that the others that aren't descended from Greece and Rome don't have, right? Like that Mongolians don't have in common with with all the European. They're all of the European. Roman Greece descendant cultures. Sorry, wait. Repeat that. So you agree that like all the the cultures that are descendant from Greece and Rome have some things in common that they don't have with other cultures like Mongolians who don't have those things in common, right? 
that history? Do I think that Europeans probably have more of a shared history than people in different regions of the world, just based on more, proximity more and shared wars? And, and, yeah, for sure. Yeah, of course okay, they have. So yeah, but like, but like, but, you, but like, you look at you look at Greece. Yeah, you look at like Greece and Turkey, and there's a lot of mixture of culture within those two, just because of mere proximity. You know, even like the French croissant. A lot of people look back at that as being influenced by more invasion and uh, it being the Islamic star. So there's a lot of um, cultural impacts that, that happen when nations war and go back and forth, taking each other as slaves and whatnot. And of course, in Europe, you're going to have more shared That's culture, true. more shared and, history. Yeah, and each one of them is unique in a, in a, a ton of different ways based on those different histories and wars and stuff like that. But there are some things they have in common with each other that, that they don't have in common with the rest of the, the peoples of the world. And so those things that they do have in common, that's what I would refer to as generally white culture. Okay, so like you just mean all of the, a, all a conglomerate of European, European cultures. Um, sure. Right. Yeah. The, well, the I, I just don't like it when people refer to people. white culture as like... You know, Sorry, guys. I have to wait Starbucks my turn. I, I talked for like and enjoying. Uh, I talked um, for like thirty <laughs> minutes earlier. Yeah. Yeah. And when so. I yeah. just yeah. to yeah. white culture, and, I'm like, and this is a historical. <laughs> I mean, this is a historical, right? Like, like the, these different uh, nations, right? Like, first of all, have fought and fucking hated each other, right? This idea of this like generalized white culture that um, uh, white supremacists love to push, right? Um, is is something brand new, like literally brand new in history, right? These uh, really there is. Culture. I have like, to wait my turn. Like, oh, have... Okay, that's a different. That's a different. I can thing. butt in but, like, sometimes, this idea but I'm of, trying uh, not to extend European, my turn um, for coming much longer. Is brand new. So. Uh, this is never. There's a ton of people in this if panel. If go back, right, um, decades, even just decades, they don't but have this idea, point, right? Because, like, this we is, didn't have to like explain. Okay, the, our culture is different than all these other play people that we have living. But it's alone. not. It's not okay. So, but but still, like this generalized white culture. It's 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 so vague to be like, completely um, unuseful, except if you're pushing a racial uh, narrative, right? Do you think That's that there's a black the culture persons, prime? Uh, they're only. If you're talking about within, oh, no. um, if you hold on, hold on, I'll answer that, Lauren. If you're talking about within uh, the United States, right? If you're saying that um, within the United States, African Americans might have like come up with some sort of like generalized culture, then sure, right? Um, but like what if you're talking about there? in Africa, if you're talking about in Africa, right? If there's a yeah, black culture, then no, certainly not, absolutely not. That wouldn't make any white sense. You, wait, okay, so like you. So Do you I think that I you, have then. more uh, in uh, common uh, sorry, with um, American Lauren, culture or uh, Indian culture? So, Lauren, I would, I would, I would agree with you then when it comes to like Africa, saying that I wouldn't create uh, talk about a black culture in Africa. Yeah, I talk about the different ethnicities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. But in, okay, so why can't there be a white culture in America if there can be a black like no, a no, white American I, culture? I, I, I didn't American address culture. that. I didn't address that okay. at all. I was talking about Europe. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, so uh, Tubi, do you have anything else you want to add, and then I'll move on? Well, that was a fair question. If there's a if there's a Black American culture because of their unique shared history, yeah, there's a here. you could uh, say uh, there's American a American generalized Anglo-Saxon uh, white culture. Uh, like again, I think it, I, 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 there there's there. You, the, you'd have the, to the wonder French, how useful the, the it is. You have to hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to answer your question. It, uh, you'd have to wonder how useful that is. But like, if you want to shorthand conversation, then sure, okay. Um, I'm sure we so can sit down and brainstorm what that is. Me? But like, so it's not useful for me to have a culture, only you, huh? I mean, what? <laughs> don't um, don't look look look, you, you buddy. Just, hold on, hold on, Mio, 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 Mio. Understand this. Understand Mio. Understand this. Mio, understand this, right? Like, you'll never be able to put words in my mouth, right? I'm too good at this. I've done this too long, right? So that's not going to work on me, right? So I'm saying, right, like, the you. point of that, like, like the, the point of, of using these generalized terms, right? Like, they have, they're only so useful, right? And in terms, in, in terms of, like, making a, 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 a European white culture, unifying that is completely useless. That's completely useless. Wait, no, 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 that doesn't make sense. Historical. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm still talking. So that's completely useless, right? Um, because uh, these cultures like um, uh, are not united in that way, right? And and this and and it, it only works in terms of like 
a racial um, uh, narrative, racial hierarchy that are being pushed, right? That there's this specific white culture and it's different somehow from everything else, right? Um, everything in Europe. else and is in Europe, in Europe. I... If you're talking about the states, right? Then yeah, like I said, sure, you could um, make some sort of generalization as to um, uh, white culture uh, and what exactly that is. I'm sure we could brainstorm here as to what uh, to call that. But yeah, that's fine, right? Um, but uh that's it i guess yeah um, honestly mio, mio we gotta have a sidebar here is it really okay. such a bad thing to give up the uh white american yeah. stereotype uh, <laughs> i be. think i'll take i'll take the european well, stereotypes to be, to be, to be. over it to be. go ahead to go ahead sorry shut up to be go ahead all right yeah uh just really quick because i don't want to talk that much more but um yeah and i think you know, there's just assumptions being made in the general conversations about like, because you are of this race, you necessarily agree with whatever the thing is you're projecting onto that race. I'm pretty sure Doobie and I disagree with a lot of things that like, for instance, in my case, if I was talking about my black side of my family, I disagree with a lot of uh, things that black people do like culturally. And Doobie, I'm sure disagrees with certain things that Mexican people do culturally. Um, so just because you're black or whatever, doesn't mean that you help you hold this racial animus towards white people and that you're unsympathetic towards the plights of American white people or whatever. It's like people are more heterogeneous, I think, than that. Yes, there are certain cultural artifacts that we have or whatever, but they are not uh, ubiquitous amongst every member of that uh, that group. So I, even if there was a race war, I have to kind of echo Doobie's sentiment that um, I'm pretty sure myself, Doobie, and other people on here, Prime as well, would be against... Um, the elimination of, of white people. But with that being said, I hope you guys all have a good night. Good night. Right. Have a good one, yeah. And we want to say, we have love one. we love white women here. Um, we've made that very clear on many occasions. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, moving Your on. Your chat doesn't agree Everyone with you guys. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I love white okay. women too. So. I, we I mean, we love white women for, here. No, I'm good. Um, Y'all can hate me. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Uh, I, I love I love white people. They're great. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you, Thomas the Promise for the 420 bits. All right. Um, moving on. Uh, we gotta uh, keep it pushing. All right. Um, so Ty, I see your hand up. All right. Um, okay. We will go to. Oh God. Um, uh, we will uh, go to uh, a Brento who's been waiting extremely patiently. Thank you, Brento, for being so patient. Um, and then after that, it'll be Zealous Stardust, Lauren Doobie. Ty and uh, Redneck, I guess. <laughs> uh, Brento, buddy. Oh my god, Brento, so long, so long. And then there we go. There, we go, there we go. Okay, buddy. I'm muted. Uh, so yeah, uh, we've come a long way since, uh, like in the whole discussion since the very beginning. Uh, but something that was pointed out in the beginning is, uh, kind of like there's like an anti white sentiment, and uh, like I would say it's probably more, it's almost maybe exclusively on like the left wing in America. And uh, people for some reason are like, oh no, I don't see it or it's not happening or it's not an issue. It seems pretty evident. It's almost like, it's like something people do uh, perform. Um, I was actually just a couple days ago. I mean, I, I live in Seattle um, and I mean, I was just at a bar and uh, we were just talking out of nowhere. Some, this, uh, this woman, she goes, uh, I will never hire a white man as a therapist or to sell my house or to do my finances. I will never hire another white man ever. And I go, well, what's that? And she goes, well, you know, like, you know why. And I said like, no, why? Like, tell me why. And she goes, well, y you know, and she just kind of like starts going down like this. Well, because, you know, like culturally, like, you know, and it's just like, that's just, that just seems fucked up. It just seems like something you would never say about anyone. And it seems like the entire I guess maybe just growing up, uh, it seems like the entire thrust of like the cultural progress that everyone was supposed to make is that we don't, we're not going to treat people like that. But now, like within a certain block of uh, politics, it seems like it's it's uh, promoted and supported and even like encouraged. And uh, that kind of thing, it's like people be like, oh well, that's not that bad. And it's like it's that it is excused and like promoted and celebrated almost feels uh, ugly. And it feels like there's no way forward through that. I don't see where that goes. Actually, I do see where that goes. And I think it's shit. And there's no there's no way that goes to any place good. So. Totally agree. Yeah. 
And uh, I mean, you could say like, well, I don't see it. And it's like, well, I that's, it I see it. Oh, are I you see saying it that individual people, seven, like, so you're saying that uh, individual minorities have uh, racial animus against white people? No, they were they were a white woman. They were she was a white woman. She yeah, was a minority. Oh, I'm sorry. That's me. what Britney you, said. You're saying it's, yeah, it's it's yeah, within it's within white, it's white culture. White it's within problem. it's white people. Sure, there's who, who like the and then oh, it. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Britney, 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 come on. Like I'm sorry, it's, I'm it's just white people who who like project and do this uh, kind of like within within white culture as like a it's like a self rejection and then in a sense it's almost like it's a it's like a well, to say it's religious is what I actually think it is but a lot of people won't see it that way. But it's uh they feel guilty, so like, they they project self hatred to show that they're one of the good ones. Where do you where do you where do you think that will right. lead to then? Like where is the slippery slope for you? Uh, well, it leads to exactly what she was speaking about and what she said in like her statement itself, and that like oh I will never you know work with these people, I will never do this with those people, that kind of thing. It it leads to a uh, to like a self rejection and a discrimination that is promoted. It sent okay. it leads to a to a Basically, it's a racism and a discrimination that is considered positive because it is against the correct group. Okay. Um, you all right? But so, do you think that one? It's just a very clear where you stand. Uh, this race war thing that uh, Brittany's been talking about. Like, do you think sure. that is at all possible? Do you, you think that's something that we have to worry about? We have to prepare for that if white people lose the majority, that uh, a race war will happen. Sure. I don't think there's going to be some explosive race war. I don't think there anything is going to happen like that. I think that uh, continued self segregation and I think uh, initiatives that are pushed that say like, well, we're going to hire more of this demographic, and therefore we're like, we're not hiring less of this one. We're just hiring only more of these people. Which is, it's like there's there's obviously implicit things like more of some means less of others. Like if that's just on its face true, and uh, it's like. If the entire thrust of like the progressive movement and the progressive politics in America and like moving forward on race was that we don't treat people that way, and then that becomes like the way we treat people, then it just seems like uh, it was an inversion of is, all the ethos that was supposed to be uh, is, instantiated in the is first place. Is this a result? I got to be really clear with you. Is this a result of white people losing their majority? Sure. That this feature that you're talking about, Brento? Um, yeah, I think I think it is related. But I don't think it's uh, necessarily a result. I think it's a. I think it's an inability yeah. another for another prime uh, debate, guys. Like another prime white American phase culture debate. to Let's go. deal actively and like in a positive way with uh, past discrimination and racial uh, like grievances and and uh, injustices. Can I, do you um, think multiracialism? Hold on, Brittany. Uh, do you think multiracialism has failed? This, why? This is, why? Um, Why is prime before, debating that multi-relation? Just, just let's move sorry, forward, multiculturalism, bro. Why? Me, um, it is problematic uh. um, and has uh, failed um, in our society. Multiculturalism has positives and negatives, but all cultures are not the same, and some cultures are. They can have a, like fundamental what's disagreements on like a, a basic level. Like I mean, and that's what we talk about on your channel all the time. Like, I consider free speech to be like paramount to like the principles of freedom and what it means to like live a good life and a lot of people you talk to don't and it's like we will never agree we will never agree if they don't think i have the right to speak and that means we cannot live in a harmonious way because if you're telling me that you have the right to speak but i don't we will never live in like a continuous like way where we can trust each that's other that's what i'm saying you should and be so moderating if you just like well all people can come in and it doesn't matter other it's like no it matters people back. need to share your values especially like, since we have a, such a long a line. racial homogenous society is not necessarily like the correct or the good one but one that has the same culture and the same values and is working towards the same goals is one but or is one that can work but uh if you're not if you don't share like the reason for living together and working together and sacrificing and what you think and that can be outside of race life. that 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 yes shared... it is it's actually i would even say it's not outside i would say it's underneath i think it's primary i think it comes first and uh no, no, that, no. Is, so, that so, is what is that will so so you don't so that's again, what i'm asking you don't need no. all people to be white to uh come no. together in the way okay no 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 not all people need to be white not all people need to be anything but they need to have a common understanding of what is important and why we all share basically our our life and our values and work together sure okay uh i i guess i can agree with that last part um we uh, we can go back to that later i think that's i, I think you're 
interesting like um middle zone here uh brento and i'd like to really explore that with you at some point um but we got to move on there's plenty of other people here right also i'm gonna start cycling people out i'm gonna start cycling people out um and you know to cycle other people in um uh we got uh, uh within within we'd love to have you in the future come back right um we're uh gonna uh let another person in uh thanks so much buddy sit yeah okay um and then uh, uh zonia in okay um all right so moving on moving oh, on good. we are uh <laughs> but uh Zonia go promised to... me she was red pill more red pilled than mio prove it oh, zonia boy. Oh boy. Anyway, so we have finally <laughs> sitting here, we have our <laughs> brand new individual. We have a brand new individual. Uh, her name is Zealous, right? Um, happy to have you here. Your first time on the open panel, right? Um, you are, uh, you will know someone who uh, has been here previously. Uh, but Zealous, please, what do you have to say? What I ha well, I'll respond to the question. Um, what I have hey, to say can you guys hear her? You're pretty quiet. Can you get closer to your mic? Uh, yes. Hold on. Um, is that better? Nope. Um, not really. Uh, <laughs> get, um, uh, maybe turn the gain up on the mic. Are you familiar with how to do that? Uh, is that better? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna turn you up all the way up on my side, and oh, just... so you can do it on your side, Prime. No, no, no on oh, my side. But for... Oh us. my God, Brittany, for me, not for you. I can't okay. do that for you. <laughs> yeah, oh okay. We all heard it. <laughs> what you're talking, Brittany? Do you not know how Discord works? Whatever, like, okay. Prime. I just know what's happening here. <laughs> oh boy, this is, wow. is anti-Mio hatred that's going on. I was on. trying to oppress you, Mio. Indeed. Okay. Uh, uh, go ahead, please. <laughs> Everyone, turn her up on your end. Okay. Tell us. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, what I have to say to the question. Is racial diversity a problem? Um, I think the question itself is problematic. I think it implies underlying racial tension and racism. Um, because if the question is anything other than no, um, the conversation is about whether or not racism is valid, which it's obviously not. I mean, I, it seems like to some people it has. It, that's not a common understanding, but racism isn't valid. <laughs> And um, I, I just think the question is problematic. And I feel like a few people have been trying to intellectualize the racism um, instead of just saying, like, we want whites to remain the majority. Like, like, and not for Wait, what? any good reason. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no. I just, I thought, hold on. Um, I watched. I still can't hear her. Uh, it's yeah. fine. Keep going. Keep going. Me? I can hear you. I can hear you. It's fine. Um, keep going. Um, I mouse. watched your one v one with Brittany earlier, and I heard a lot of what she was saying. And I think, um, to a lot of it, she didn't want to take full accountability for her own ideas. But I feel like a lot of what she was saying is a lot of like racist propaganda, and I think it was just really problematic. And that's what the whole conversation is based around. So, um, they're not concerned. Wait, no, I, I want to wait. So accepting that racism exists is racist. No, it's not accepting that this racism. Well, accepting already, that there's an inherent kind of discrimination in human beings is racist is what you were implying, but maybe you could clarify that. That's not what I was saying. What I was saying was that if you have a problem with a, a group solely on race and there's tension just based on race it's racist and if you have problems so brave. if you relate so brave. to racial diversity being a problem you're racist that's what i was saying okay wait so like what if an indigenous person in canada says that they don't think that white settlers should have come to canada is that inherently racist of them well, in a way, I don't like. Okay, I like the. I respect the consistency. Yeah! Wow. I respect that. It was racist <laughs> of her to not like, want to be colonized. That is. I literally story. haven't been able to hear a word she's oh, been saying. I, I heard my name a couple times though. I can hear. Learn how to work Discord. Yeah. Really well. It's hard to hear you. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Hold on. Yeah. That's okay. That's not, not problematic though because they're the minority. Who, that doesn't change anything. No, no, dude. We're the minority. No, so wait, you're allowed no, to have dude. racial animosity and discrimination as long as you're the minority? <laughs> when we're the minority, can I say that? Racism. Wait, I want to get my fucking subs, guys. Thank you for the 150 bits, Exodus. Okay, go ahead. Can you talk into your mic a little bit? You're like talking not near a mic at all. Well, it's right in front of me. That's way um, better, though. <laughs> what you just did. They're an oppressed class, so it's not the same as if they're because the racial tension is not because oh. of, like, they didn't create the racial tension. Like, Great, the I get the right wing racist and the left wing racist all in one fucking panel. I, okay. I gotta get a drink. <laughs> okay, all right, everyone, calm the fuck Take down, deep, right? Dude. And Perfect I need example. any. I, and I want um, to uh, give uh, space to our friend uh, Zealous to make uh, to get a point out. Right? She's been waiting a yeah, long goddamn sad. time, it's so I want to make sure she gets a point out completely. Right? So you're saying that. Um, uh, it's okay. Thank you, Vice and, Heart. I want to be very clear what subs. you're saying, okay? Uh, so you're saying that it's okay for, um, God like, damn, let's dude. say, African Americans right? um, to have a racial animus towards um, white individuals, but not the other way around. That those two things are not equal, like on the individual level. It's okay. Can't hear you. You're, you're muted. Oh. Sorry. Uh, oh. uh, I'm not muted. Uh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, we, we can, can hear, we hear can. your mouth. Keep, mouth. Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. Um. I'm not saying that racial racial tension in general is okay. I'm not saying it's okay, but when you're the oppressed class, you're you're the one that's on the other end of it. Like the racial tension is not created by you. Like you're the victim of the racial tension. So it's like do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so I think I understand. I think what you're trying to say, um, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, what you're trying to say is that um, if black people are like uh, the victims of white supremacy, then it makes okay. sense uh, that they would have a certain negative reaction towards that. And that's not the same as a white person who is not the victim of white supremacy, which is, okay, uh, which is even then kind of fuzzy. Um, but it's not the same as them. Um, having that same racial animus because they're not having like the state against them, the full force of the state used against them. Is that what you're trying to say? That's, that's essentially what I'm saying. Yes. I'm creating a new word. It's manslate instead of mansplain, man, man translating, manslating. <laughs> okay. I like it. It's a good Pretty one. Good, actually. Thank nice. You. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Plus, there is no unity like of white culture. Like there, like what does like, like. Even around the country, like from like California to Texas to New York, like what is like the unity of white culture anyways? Can I ask so you something, Zealous? If there's no yeah. unity of white culture, then what is the culture that is oppressing? And how can a culture be oppressive if it doesn't exist or isn't unified in any way? Damn. Yeah, that's a good question. I'm not, we can come back to I'm not sure it is. I'm not sure if it is because I don't know why you need. No, you don't need. You actually don't need. No, I can. I'll answer this for you. Um, uh, but only if Zealous wants. I don't want to answer for Zealous. Zealous, if you want to jump in, you go first. Manscribe. Some manslating. Manslating. I mean, I think it's still manslating. I would like crime is manslating to hell right now. He's fucking manslating. Manslating a woman's language. Everyone. Everyone. Everyone shut the fuck up. I want to hear what Zealous have to say. Zealous, if you have something to say, then go ahead. Say it loud, girl. Uh, I wanted to hear what you had to say. About okay, I'll do it. Yeah. Manslating uh, crime, get it. Uh -huh. uh, so, one, you don't need a specific quote-unquote culture to do this. You just need a power structure, right, to be able to imp implement this. Right, uh, you can. Um, there could be a power structure. There could be a, a a coalition of of individuals, of groups, right, of ethnic groups that would would want to um, uh, use their ability to uh, keep undesirables out, right? Create a group and then maintain that out group. I can't, so believe, I have have so you know, I can't believe I have to follow this fucking bullshit. I can't believe I have to follow this fucking bullshit. No, you're using Why? the word in-group, and then you're saying, but Why there has to be no, there's no unity. It's Why like, is you're this? like, create a group no. where everyone's in it, but there doesn't have to be together, the and there's nothing there. in-group doesn't mean Why? culture, though. That's not, yes, so it does. You, you think, no, it doesn't. I'm telling it's you. It's getting derailed. Have, the topic is derailed, and my points are no longer relevant. No, it doesn't necessarily. It can. It can the topic is derailed, it's and probably my to have point a culture. is no longer necessarily relevant. Mean you have to have a share culture. Um, there could be interest, right? Interests that align, 
right, to uh, have this in group, right? Um, uh, business interest, economic interest, right? Um, social interest. All the those window is closed. Without yes. them necessarily All having I can a quote unquote is, shared is, culture, you know, and then maintaining that in group, right? Um, um, yeah. and then uh, having that out group. But you're saying Start you're saying like we're talking about this within hour? race, and so you're like, well, it can be a business, it can be this, but no, we're talking about race, which is. I'm getting confused. <laughs> I thought Mia so was like, supposed to be the like least likable person. It's like you're just saying that these things are not like connected, that. and it's like they're intrinsically connected. Race and culture aren't the same exact thing. They're not. No, they're not connected, but they imply each other. They have races have cultures, and cultures so, have races. They're, they're so they're heavily as soon influenced. As, so, so as soon as the Irish got here, the Irish culture disappeared, and they Arab immediately became Muslim. white culture. Is that what that happened? No, no, you, you know okay. that's a ridiculous so question. Exactly, you know that right? Sense. There's so no we could have multiple cultures, right? So you could have Irish. I'm going to fucking Italian, die, could have, dude. Um, cultures it's coming like, from. It feels like it feels like it's like oh, so there's white culture and they're the oppressors, but also it doesn't exist and it's not real. And it's like yeah, sure, whatever. It feels no, no, like... no, no, no. Hold on, no, hold on. You're mixing mm. many different things. You're mixing mixing many different things, right? Um, it was it Mio? I forget who, which one said it before. I think maybe I think it's Mio. Um, it said that there was a a, a generalized white European culture. Right? I had um, a and point. And I pushed back specifically <laughs> against that, right? And then they talked about is there a generalized white American culture? I'm like, okay, we could probably maybe come up with something uh, like that. Yeah, me right? and, we could probably. Mio and I differ on this. Mine is more like a racial thing. I don't, I'm, the culture isn't as quite as prevalent for me as the racial stuff um, because yeah. I, okay. That's Fair enough. Okay, why, don't, sure. why don't we just get them to, to define? What they sure. Think well, is the culture. we'll do it in a second. I need to finish what I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, and I said like yes, what? there could be some sort what of are you generalized doing? Um, thing, right? Um, but uh, you're saying that um, like if there is no white culture, right? Um, can you have racial supremacy? I'm saying absolutely. I'm saying that we've seen that coalition, right? Um, that there are outside groups that weren't considered white, um, but they were brought in. Uh, they still can maintain their outside cultures, but they have um, a, a shared imagined um, uh, identity of whiteness. And so from there, they can uh, use white supremacy to their ends. Declare your... Oh, my God. Dude. I don't know. That's I guess just, I just... Can I, I, can I jump in here? We all got together right. and we look like each other and that's all we have to have in common. No, it was the culture that that made them like that's what determined what was white and what wasn't. No, it, you know, it was no, culture. no. What determined what was white? What determined what was white was was what what was not white. That's what whiteness came. Whiteness comes as a response to blackness, right? We have uh, these people who are in chains, right? No, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yes. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa! I will respond to this. Um, whiteness is a response to uh, blackness legally. That's how it is. It was a response to blackness. We have these people in chains, right? We're gonna call them, I guess, Negroes, right? Then we have this idea, well, we don't want them race mixing. Who do we not want them uh, race mixing with, right? Like whiteness becomes, right, a way of separating here in the States. And you think that from, began it's different, it's different from other America? places. <laughs> huh? Whoa, whoa, listen, listen. In America, the specific tradition of whiteness the specific tradition of whiteness, right? I think I gotta leave is after distinct, this, man. right? And that it's uh, tied intimately with slavery, intimately with slavery. So whiteness has always been um, oh, defined this... by what? Hold on, whiteness has been uh, defined as creating that in group to keep an out group out, right? That out this group is, has always been a massive African weird Americans. racial cope that every um, group does. I remember <laughs> being in Turkish prison. And uh, I was speaking to, trying to impress the guard that was um, watching us. And there was a picture of Ataturk. And I was yeah. like, oh, uh, there's a lot of European influence in Turkey, hey? Like, Ataturk was like half European. And he looks at me and he's like, more like there's a lot of Turkish influence in Europe. And like, there's this weird, like, oh, who started who? Who influenced whose culture? And like, he wants to be like, no, it's the Turks that influenced the Europeans, not the Europeans that influenced the Turks. It's us that mixed into you, not the other way around. We're Sorry, like, it's that just like has nothing weird... to do with what I just said. No, 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 Marks, turn whiteness. off your stream. Like, Marks, turn off your stream. I don't know what you're doing. Turn off your stream. Um, uh, so, um, oh, why? What does, that has oh, nothing sorry, to do with what I what I just said. Yeah, yeah. Please uh, take off your stream. Um, um, that has nothing to do with I what I just said. What I just said was it, talking but about. But you're saying the roots. that my racial group defines your racial group. The existence of my racial group is what makes the definition of your racial group, which is just not accurate. Yeah, no, like if no, 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 no. There's there's, there's, there's like the middle. Hang on. 
there's a middle ground. I gotta get out of here, man. I gotta get out of here, man. And I we're getting way off the topic, and we're just keep we're gonna keep going around this circle and circle and circle. My time's here, and I want to speak for at least three no, five your minutes. Time isn't here. Your time is here. Your time is here. after her. No, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can tell you. I can tell you who is next, right? And you are not after Because you're white, you redneck. This you is happening. Absolutely. You're absolutely right last. before our eyes. Here. Mm -hmm. um, we have Zealous, Stardust, Lauren, uh, DB, uh, Ty, Zonia, and Red. That's the uh, list, right? I can then tell you that. Her. Okay. How are you going to bring Zonia in before me when she was brought in after me and tell me that's the list? Well, hold on, nice. hold on. First, first of all, wait a minute. Excuse me. This is my list one. So I can uh, I got you. this list. I got you. Exactly. I'm just making sure I see okay, which great. way you're privileging because this. I invited Zonia in here, right? Someone else uh, pulled right. you in, right? I will probably say Zonia what I told you properly. I, I think, that you, allow, I think I you allow these racial comments to go, okay. but you want to bring a transgender person in when it directly is a, oh a direct God. correlation. Oh, my God. Red, all. red, red. Do not argue me right now. I don't have time to also argue with you on a sidebar, right? If you have a problem with the list, get the fuck out. All right, the list is the list. I've told you what the list is. Moving the fuck on. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll uh, I will continue that on. We'll continue on with this later. Um, I, I'm gonna move on. Um, but Lauren, if you got, if you want to have a one-on-one -on, -one on this, I would love to. Right. Uh, I would love about... to speak where we can actually speak. Okay, great. <laughs> in person panel. I'm it's sorry, that. Lauren. This is how this always is, right? If people don't like it, they can leave, and it'll be smaller. I, right? After I get my say, I'm a duck, <laughs> and then you okay. can bring someone else in. Okie dokie, right? Um, but now, if anyone needs to complain about that, get the fuck out, and you'll help uh, the account. Thanks so much. It is your great. show. It is your Thank show. Thank you so much. All right, moving on. Um, so we got Stardust. Stardust, you were next. Okay. Um, so, I, okay, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to stay too much longer either, but um, I wanted to go back before we got derailed. Um, uh, I wanted to get back to the topic at hand, which was, um, do you think that people who are, who've been born and raised here, um, identify more with their home country than they do with American culture? Who are you Mio. asking that to? A general Mio. question? Mio. Oh. Yeah, I think it largely depends on their upbringing because I can definitely picture you know, a, a Japanese American kid who's raised, you know, playing baseball out with the neighbor's kids. And he's like, you know, doesn't have any accent. He doesn't even speak Japanese or Korean or whatever I said. And, but there's, there's another kid as well. Who's like raised in one of these enclave communities, raised in Koreatown and like speaks fluent Korean. And like, he's raised in that whole culture immersed in it. And when you leave Koreatown, Can you're in a different culture. That's a different he would probably want to go live in Korea someday and like visit where you know his roots. I, you can want to visit your that. roots probably. and still identify with with the culture and that you grew up in. I mean, it, it being his roots by definition means that's his culture. That's like, not true. No, Wait, my roots are Indian, roots right? My like, roots I'm are America, Indian, but I would roots. rather be in America and be American than any other thing. Like, of course, oh, I yeah, identify more with nicer. America than it's I do with okay. India. America's going to be better for you, though. <laughs> yeah, because it's nicer here. I mean, okay, like, here, here's the thing. Despite uh, being scolded uh, and, and uh, asked to explain to street guy, shitting uh, every time I get into a far-right panel, I can guarantee... Um, that I, 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 I align more with American I culture than I do. <laughs> every time I get into a far right panel, it's always like, Star, why don't you justify why people are shitting in streets? Uh, yeah, let me explain poverty to you, okay? I'm sorry. Um, no, uh, so, so yeah. No, no, that's what it is. That's generally what it is. And I, I identify more with, with American culture than with any other culture. And I would rather live in America. And I don't like that other people try to 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 um to take that away it's from me. It's all I've, I've, I've no, dude. It's not whitewashed. I've oh, I've it's I've that not is, been whitewashed. Absolutely great. not. No, but I be Americanized. American? I I always no, American. I I hate it. I hate it when people try to take away my Americanness from me. Okay, it is mine, and I and I and I don't I don't desire to be anything else. I have um, I have, sure I have roots in India, and I have family in India, but. I will always be American first. 
And so I hate God it. I hate right, it. Mother. And you know what? Yeah, I don't gonna, fucking appreciate. I don't <laughs> fucking appreciate that you're trying that you're uh, trying to say that I would side with some fucking race war against white people. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You're so full of shit, Neo. Oh, no. You think that you just because you would side with white people in some race war that I would side with like massively genociding a, a bunch of people? What does that say about you, Mio? What does that say about you? That says more about you than it. Does about me, you fucking bigoted asshole. All right, I'm done with this. See you guys. <laughs> so sorry. That was so much fun.